What up, everybody? What's going on? Is that my shirt? No, I just don't mind. Oh, okay. Because I don't see my chat window. Wait. Oh, yeah, I'll just put it on the side. Okay, now I got it. What's up, everybody? Can you hear me? Is my sound good? I have to go by what you type in the chat. Grumpy is in the room. Yellow Fever from Cleveland, Ohio is in the room. Angelita Williams is in the room. Welcome to the chat, everybody. Welcome to the chat. Hold on, I'm going to open it on YouTube. What? I'm going to open the slide All right. on YouTube. i got to find my... I'm doing some technical difficulties here. Yellow Fever. Now I hear myself. Cleveland, Ohio is in the room. Okay. Now... All right. Oh, thanks, Grumpy. What's up? How's everything? What's up with you guys? I figure I'd do a, a live stream early instead of doing one late at night because I'm out. Because then I'll be up all night. Uh, Lewis Baldwin, North Carolina's in the house. Who else we got in the house? Uh, who else? Can you see me good? There's like a delay. No, that's always like that. It's, we don't have like good internet. Oh, okay. Because it's like... Life on Rikers. What's up? What's up? Welcome to the live stream again. What's going on? You guys want to talk? Because I have an announcement that I was going to give to you guys between me and K&M. But I'm going to wait until there's a couple of more people in the room. Oh, Copcoin community. What's up? What's up? North Carolina can and Riders. What's up? Welcome to the chat. Copcoin community, welcome to the chat. As soon as I get a few more guys in here, I'm going to give you an update on... Um, On, between me and KM, let me log into my Instagram so I could get some people in here too. Okay, one second, live start. Okay, now I think I'm live on Instagram too. Am I? Yeah, I'm live. I got anybody in my Instagram room? Not right now. Oh, Green Lantern Riker just joined. Let me wave at him. Green Lantern. I'm live on YouTube right now. If you want to jump into the chat, I got quite a few people here in the chat room. About nine people uh, going back and forth. We're going to do Riker talk again for all the can and Riker riders out there. Let me hear if any of you guys are in that big, big event going down in Miami right now that big uh martin luther king weekend ride out because uh i've been watching a lot of those videos on uh instagram and it seems like there was like hundreds of rikers and spiders and slingshots out there so if any of you guys went out there let me know oh lydell lot brooklyn riker out of texas all right I got a lot of people from Texas showing me love, man. Always Texas. From Brooklyn. That's a nice, nice ride. Hey, Quasi. I'm on uh, YouTube Live. So, Quasi Motard just joined uh, Instagram. Quasi, I'm on YouTube Live right now. If you want to go into the chat room and we could chat. Uh, I'm going to do this big announcement. As soon as I get a few more people in the room... I'm going to try to get this announcement going on so we could uh, 
I could tell you all the things that are going on between me and Can-Am. Some of you guys can see in the bottom there screen, uh, that was my interview with BRP. They, uh... Were you posting it? Yeah, I didn't post the video yet. I'm not going to post the video because there's some secrets, you know. BRP let out some secrets. But, um... We're working on some things. So as soon as I get a few more people in the room. Steve from Instagram joint. Steve-O901. I'm on YouTube Live right now if you want to jump in on this chat. I got a couple of Riker owners out here. And riders in the chat room. We're going to be talking about uh, something big happening between me and Can am Mr. November 65. He just joined in on Instagram Live. Yo, uh, Mr. November65, we on YouTube Live right now if you want to jump in on this chat. Grumpy Riker Rider said people always late. Hey, that's all right. That's why I'm on here for like three hours. Uh, Angela B0107. Angela, we are on uh, YouTube Live right now. So if you want to jump into the YouTube Live, I got a... Uh, how many people I got in here? Ten? Ten people in here in the chat room chatting? We're going to make this uh, big BRP rolling on three announcement, right? I might have to jump off Instagram real quick to read the announcement that I got from um, BRP, but I'll do it in a few. Let me get a couple of more people on there because I know people be running late. But, uh. Anybody did some big ride outs? Anybody did something special to their can am? What they got going on while we're waiting? All right. Big Papa Riker jumped in. <laughs> I see your pictures all over the gram. Big Papa. Nice. Did you go to that event in uh Miami? Green Lantern's back. He's in the check in. Tempe Cross from Texas. Tempe Cross. What's up? You hit me up for some merchandise, didn't you? Did you get it? I'm quite sure you got everything, right? Was Yeah, Tempe, you hit me up for some beanies, right? I believe that was you. Thanks for the love. Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, Can-Am Riders checking in. Douglas. Good, big shout out to Charlotte, North Carolina. Any of you guys went to Miami? I want to know because I've been watching... The videos and it's been crazy. D Wisdom works. What's up, my brother? Eric, what's up? Oh no, S Steven said no, sir. Look like fun. Yeah, that Miami thing looked crazy. I was looking at some of those videos, man. It was. I don't even know how people drove around. It was so crowded out there, but it was. Uh, it was crowded. Uh. Oh, Tempe, yeah, you got the beanies? Thank you, thank you. You should have sent me a pic with the beanies so I could see. I could post it up on my gram. Yeah, you just email me a picture of you rocking the beanies or whatever, and then I'll, I'll post it up, give you a shout-out, all right? Thanks, appreciate it. Thanks for the love. Uh, I got the fitted hats in now. Uh, I got two people doing different types of fitteds for me, so if any of you guys want fitteds, I'm sorry, snapbacks, let me know. I got a couple of beanies left, too. So if any of you guys want, let me know. Hit me up. Uh, Green Lantern, what's up? Green Lantern, you, you said you wanted to be on the podcast, man. Hit me up. You got to let me know, man, what you want to do. Team Spider, those are my peoples. That's my, that's my family right there, Team Spider. What's up? What's good? You know, we on YouTube Live right now. I'm about to make that big announcement. I think Team Spider already know, but I'm going to just uh, let people know what's going on. See, I got 16. When I get 20 people in the room, when I get 20 people in the room, then I do it. Steven, Memphis, Tennessee checking in. Wow, Memphis. Now, there's a place I got to visit. Ah, my man, Mr. Stitch It Up. Full throttles in the house. What's up, Mr. Stitch It Up? What's good? 
Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, email me. Send, tell me what's up so we can set this up, man. Anybody, anybody went to Miami, no? Oh, man, thanks, because I didn't want to be the only guy that didn't bring my Riker to Miami. Uh, On Instagram, I got H. Sullivan. H. Sullivan, we are on YouTube Live right now in the chat. I got about 15 people in the chat, so if you want to swing on by, I'm going to make this announcement between... uh. Can-Am and rolling on three. Yeah, Eric, I can't wait for that weather to break either, man. This is this is tough, man. My... Ah, Mr. Stitch Up is busy. Hey, if you want to get your gear, uh, any of your work done, your hats, your uh, shirts, whatever, patches, hit up Full Throttle. He's in the chat right now. Also known as Mr. Stitch It Up. Hooked me up on my first thing. Got my merchandise going out in the first. Appreciate Mr. Stitch Up. Uh, Charlotte Riders, we'd love to be on pass. Send me your info. Oh, Charlotte Riders. Look, my info's in my bio on my YouTube videos or you can hit me up on my Instagram Shadow Black Riker and we'll set it up. All I need is an email from you and we'll go back and forth. Yeah, they doing it big in Miami. Big. Oh, Grumpy Riker says it's 73 degrees. Oh, man. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, Big Daddy 007 joined the Instagram live. Uh, Big Daddy, uh, is this... Hey, what's up? This is Bill Ramsey, I think, right? That's how you say it? Look, we in YouTube live right now. Yeah. We in YouTube live right now, so if you want to switch over to your YouTube live, I'm in the chat. I got 18 people in the chat. So when I get to about 20 people in the chat, I'm going to make this big announcement about uh, the Rolling On 3 podcast and k and and BRP. If you could check it out, you'll see in the corner there I posted up something where I did a podcast with k and themselves, the global marketing. Rolling are uh, planning a big Re- Riker meetup this year. I hope so. I'm planning on well, they got a big thing coming up on Juneteenth in New York City. Uh, what's up, Team Spider? Yeah, Team Spider Man, uh, in the chat room, put that thing out that you have in uh, on Juneteenth so uh, all these people could see about this big thing that's going down out here in New York. The Pricky Ricky is 66 in Texas. Dang, Texas on the check-in again. I like Texas. Always, always on the check-in, Texas. Juju Dap joined. Juju Dap, we live on YouTube right now. So if you want to jump into the YouTube chat. And we got about 18, 19 other uh, Can-Am owners, so jump in there. Uh, Full throttles. Yay, talking about moving down to Texas. Oh man, and Ninjixer seven hundred. Yo, we in the uh, YouTube chat right now, so join the YouTube chat. We live on YouTube, so we got a few people in here. Uh, one more person, and I'm gonna do this announcement. So I'll have to jump off of Instagram real quick, so I could tell everybody what's going on. So forty in South Carolina, but I ride every day. God bless you. I'm not riding when it's under fifty. Can't do it. Can't do it. All right. So look, I'm gonna jump off of Instagram real quick and make this big announcement between Rolling On Three and BRP and Can Am. What up, Cruz? Okay. So I get this email from Can Am saying, "Hey." We've been watching your podcast. Hit us up. Let's have a talk. So we get a talk. We go back and forth. Good things. Good things. And um, they wind up wanting to be on the show. So I was like, great. I, I would love to interview somebody from Can-Am anyway. So uh, Jonathan from Can-Am on road broke this deal. Set me up with Brian, the lead of global consumer relations of BRP. He's running the whole joint. So he hits me up. We have a nice chat. We talk about things going on We um, with the BRP, with Can-Am, a uh, couple of things that they're doing now and what Can-Am is offered. So 
after everything was done, I get this email from Can Am and it goes, I would like to invite you to be part of the 2021 Can Am Collective, our team of brand ambassadors. As a Can Am community leader, we would like to give you early information about new products, send you new gear to reviews and use to invite you to future events, and reach out to you for potential Can Am content needs. They finish it off by saying, We love your current content, podcast, it wouldn't change a thing, keeps doing what you're doing. We're here to support you where we can and get you in part of the Can Am mix as much as we can. So, with that being said, with that being said, me and Can Am are now they are branding me as an ambassador to their products. So now me and Can Am will be working together to bring you stuff in the future. So I would like to say thank you to Can Am for believing in my podcast. Thank you for my guys for supporting me. Um you did it. You did it great. Hey, oh, what's up, Bill? I'm glad you got into the room. How's everything? So, like I said, I want to thank everybody for believing into the into the podcast. I want to thank uh, Can Am for um, also believing and bringing me into the partnership. So I'll be able to bring you guys Can Am content. I'll be going to speak to Can Am, visiting their places, talking about the news things that's coming out. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, everybody saying thank you. Thank you very much. So, with that being said, uh, Can Am has sent me the first item to review. So, I'm going to do an unboxing right here live. I haven't opened it yet. So, just want to show you guys. So, here goes. This came from Can Am. I haven't opened it yet, but uh, we're going to see what can am has sent me, and we're going to do a little product review live and together. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you for all the congrats. I appreciate it. Let me open this box. Like I said, I haven't opened it yet, so, oh, wait, I opened the wrong stuff. Let me open it the way they sent it. So, you know, thanks everybody for all the support to the podcast. You know, I'm, what I'm, my goal is just to bring the whole Can-Am community together and make it a big thing. So, you know, I want to just thank everybody for just stressing everything and thank it up. Thanks everybody for congratulating. So, let me see what Can-Am sent me. So, I got this. Okay. So, they sent me... Um, all right. Uh, they actually sent me how much it was worth, but I guess. What? Um, okay, so let's get it out of this bag right now. So, I was talking to KM and telling them that Riker Riders, people who own Rikers, one of the things I told them, since the Riker doesn't have that much. Um, room to store anything. I was like, do y'all offer anything that's, you know, as an alternative to that? So, they sent me a book bag. It says an all-weather let's open it up. An all-weather backpack from Can-Am itself. Let's see what we got. Comes in a nice box wrapped up in plastic. Uh, it's a flap over bag. Let me see. Let me bring it up. That's it right here. It's black. It's very, very well made. I have to say the texture, you can definitely tell it's a waterproof bag. Uh, it has a lining with pockets. There's thousands and thousands of zip up pockets in it. I'll tell you that much. It's insulated. It, let's go to the back here. So, padded shoulders, padded back so it won't be on my back when it's heated up. A handle, adjustment straps, 
So it's padded so it doesn't sit on my back in the summer. Uh, a wrap around strap for the front, adjustable shoulder straps, uh, straps to keep it the flap down, zip up close, fold over. Can Am logo. Uh, let's read what it says Can Am All Element Backpack by OGO. Completely weatherproof, 360 degree, degree weather, uh, reflective screen print. Quick access to the front zip of stash pocket. Removable high visibility liner. Oh, removable. Oh. Top sleeve fits most 15 inch laptops and a tablet sleeve. So just to give you guys the specs. Uh, it's 25.5 inches high. 10 and a half inches wide and six and three quarters deep. It's made of nylon, uh, two and a half pounds. Let me tell you something about the construction of this bag, and not just because Scandium sent it to me, but man, this is a well made bag. And you know what's wild is I've been uh, just using my kids' book bags when I've been on my bike, so. This is the first product review for Can-Am. It's too cold to try it outside, but I will definitely be, do a backup review. And, yeah, thanks. It is a nice bag. Thanks, thanks. Thanks, everybody. OG, OGO is a good brand. Almost all my bags are OGO. Never heard of the brand before, so um, I guess I'll be testing it out for Can-Am. Thanks, Can-Am. Uh I see I ride join the Instagram. Hey, we're live on YouTube right now. So if you join want to join the YouTube chat, I got like 25 uh Can Am owners in here with going back and forth talking about some stuff. So those who are just tuning in that didn't know, um me and Can Am will be working together now and I will be bringing you some Can Am products. You got to tune into the Can Am product podcast that's coming out because he answers some of the fan questions uh some of you guys submitted me questions through email i was only to do a few of them so if you watch out for the for the podcast uh i asked them some of the questions some of you guys asked the same question so i just narrowed it down uh some of you guys i put your name in there as much as i could you know that you sent these questions in the can am because there's a there's some pretty interesting stuff coming up for 2021 for Can Am. So, you, know, I didn't drop the video or the teaser yet. This is the first time I'm talking about it. So that's the um, thumbnail to look out for if you don't subscribe to my channel. And that's Brian Lee, Global Consumer of Public Relations of BRT, BRP. He's um he's the one that contacts everybody, and he's the one that gets all the feedback from Can Am owners and tweaks the products and. Now I'll be a part of that process where when can ams looking to push out products, uh, there'll be sometimes or, you know, when they feel like it, they will be sending me products along the way. And um, I will be given a thumbs up or I guess a thumbs down or whatever I think needs to be improved on the product. So thanks can am You know, I appreciate that. Thanks for all the guys... Uh, being in the chat and being part of the podcast, you know, helping me blow it up and spread it around. I appreciate that so much. Rico asks, has anyone been having problems with their yaw sensor on their Rika? I haven't had that problem. Oh. Full throttle. All I want to know is they plan to do an engine upgrade. Uh, full throttle, you got to watch the show, man. I can't let out any secrets because even people ask me about an electric Can-Am coming up. So, you know, we discussed that too. So, you know, just wait for it to drop. That's all I can say. Huh? It's all going to be, it'll probably be out by the end of the month. That's probably when I'm going to drop it. But, you know, just stay tuned. There's a lot of interesting facts about Can-Am and what they're doing and where they're going and how they're taking care of their future and past owners when it comes to Can-Am. Good company. Good company. Reached out. A lot of love. A lot of love. And this is not a paid uh, 
advertisement. I don't get paid from Can Am, you know. All they do is asking me is they just gonna help me. Um, I'm gonna help them push products I like, and they're gonna send me products for their review. That's it. <laughs> full throttle don't worry man it's coming out man you know i drop a podcast every week every week i drop a podcast you know that grumpy's been on the podcast he's coming up i I got all you guys out there i'm waiting for uh uh thank you bill appreciate it bill you got to be on the podcast man i sent you some information man hit me up you're doing it big out there bill you got a really really big channel out there so you know, appreciate the love. Thanks for the report. Thanks for all the support. I, is he, is it I-S-C-I-R-I? I I don't know how to pronounce it, but thank you. Thank you for that. Um, what else y'all guys want to know? Oh, I, nobody, nobody's from Miami on the check-in. You guys are just busy out there. That's what it is. Nobody. That big event and I don't have nobody live, but that's cool. I guess they're having too much fun. They're having way too much fun. <laughs> what else I got there? Oh, where's Quasi? Oh, when's Quasi and Bill getting on? I'm working. Quasi say he's busy. Uh, Bill said he'll get back to me, of course. So, you know, these guys, do, they got big channels, man. I understand. They're busy, man. They're filming. They're doing what they got to do. And they don't have time for my little... Uh, my little 600 subscriber channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Nah, they're good people, man. They show a lot of support. They throw, They show a lot of support. They got a. Uh, they got nice channels. I, I I subscribe to both of them, you know. So much respect to them because I know what it's like to put out a channel like that. You know, it's big. It's big. Oh, he said they riding. <laughs> Yo, you're right. They are definitely doing that. They are definitely having fun in Miami like that. I saw those videos. Yeah. See, Quasi say he, he grinding right now. Yeah. I, know. I see your channel, Quasi. I mean, it takes a lot of work. I respect that. Oh, Martin. Martin the vlogger. My partner from the Euro. That's my overseas buddy over there. Martin the vlogger. Just to let y'all guys know, you got to tune in his channel for spider stuff. Can-Am spider stuff. Martin got it locked down. He's the man to see. Um, his channel is crazy. Martin the vlogger. He's all over the place, man. The first time I ever seen somebody uh, get a Riker off the ground. That guy is moving. Hey, Martin, what's up? Yo, we're in the YouTube chat right now. If you go to YouTube, to my channel, you could get on with um, all these other Can-Am owners and we could chop it up. But, uh, yeah, I also vlog on Martin's site, Martin the Vlogger's site. So I have a vlog post there where I do Can-Am for, you know, I guess for the people of Europe that's not too in tune to my channel out here. But, yeah, check out Martin the Vlogger. Martin's got a lot of spider tips on there. Yeah, Cops Court and Community. Yeah, working the channel is a lot of work. I see, man, you got a lot of subscribers, too. You're on your grind daily. Oh, Quasi said the YouTube channel is just my side hustle. Well, you got a good side hustle going on, Quasi, because your channel's big, you know, and I'm hustling real hard, and my channel's moving mad slow. <laughs> oh, Bill makes the grill for the Rikers. That's right. You can get custom Riker grills from uh, from Bill. Hey, Bill, throw your information up there for people to, um, if they don't know already. That you make those custom Riker grills. So, Bill, throw it up in the chat so uh, people could see what you got going on. You know, hit you up, go to your website or things like that. Listen, oh, yeah, Cops Calling Community. Yeah, your channel, I, I see you You got a good channel there going. But I, I got a good idea for me and you, though. We could do this collab. I got this idea for a collab came to me, man. It'll it'll work out. It'll it'll be a good a good look. Martin's in the check in. Martin, what's up? That's my Euro buddy over there. Martin the Vlogger has got the number one spider channel out there. So if you want some spider F three info and tips, you gotta see Martin the Vlogger. 
Oh yeah, MTV. Martin the Vlogger, that's right. MTV Productions. He's got all that stuff going on, man, for that Spider F3, man. You got to watch his videos. They're insane. Told you he's the first one I've seen take us, make a spider leave the ground. He's doing his thing. What else? But he got good spider tips. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keith is paying good. <laughs> he's charging me for it. Martin says he's charging me for that banner on his... He's charging me. All right. Well, look, Martin. Um, only 4% of my traffic comes through YouTube, comes to your channel. And 89% of the traffic comes through uh, YouTube. So when we when that, those numbers flip-flop, I'll start sending you a bigger check. <laughs> yeah, I checked the... Uh, Martin, I checked the Riker wheels on the PPA website. I even sent them... Uh, I, I DM'd them on their Instagram page to see what they want to do or what they're talking but i haven't received anything back from them yet but those um i'm waiting to hear from them and see what they want to do oh bill ramsey put up his stuff blr tuning on facebook so if you guys want those custom Riker grills blr tuning you go to facebook and listen all the guys that are on here that want to help me out my cash app is up in the corner you know, please uh, help me with this channel here. I'm trying to get, uh, you know, get better equipment, get better uh, podcast equipment so I can uh, bring you more and more content to reach out to people, you know. So any little bit helps, you know. I just try to uh, do what I can to bring the Can-Am community closer and closer. So I want to get a big event going one day, so... You know, the more support I get, the better. Oh, uh, they know you on my paycheck, not rolling out with me. <laughs> Martin. Don't worry, man. I told you, man. We, we're going to get there. I got to get up to Martin the vlogger status, though. I need, uh, I need that many subs on my channel. Or at least that many podcasts under my belt. Because, you know, so I can get more people to, uh, did anybody get um? Did anybody get custom win rims on their Riker? I need some low rider wire wheels to ride on. That would be crazy. Low rider wire wheels on a Riker. Not New York City though. Them potholes would tear them things to shreds. It would look pretty, but I don't trust it on the roads out here. Not at all, bro. But uh, did anybody do any um, get in looking into custom wheels? Anybody on their Riker or yet? Uh, I would like to see if anybody reached out to that company yet. Seems like they're the only ones. If they got anything going on, Martin says I'm nobody. Well, you somebody because uh, you got enough subscribers to tell you. Post the cash app in the chat. I'll send you some love. Thanks, Bill. I have my producer. I have my producer put my cash app in the in the in the chat room. Oh, in the chat. Yeah, I just type it in right there. Task Force Savage with the dollar sign. Have you seen the green Riker? That's all over social media. Is that um? No, I don't know. Is that the Green Lantern? F-O-R-C-E. Right. Is that the Green, the green Lantern Riker? Or is there somebody... Did somebody um, post something else? Wait, is that my task force? Savvy. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I just posted my cash app in the chat. If anybody wants to donate to the cause to keep it moving, I appreciate it. Um, no, I didn't see the green Riker. I mean, um, I know that somebody has the green lantern. Oh, the shiny one. 
I think I did run across that. That was, I believe that there's a couple. One painted, one green. One painted, one purple, I think it is. I've seen them on uh, YouTube. They got a show. Uh, I can't remember the name of those people, but I've seen it. Yeah, they got it painted uh, iridescent. I don't remember. I think I, I think I ran across it. They, they took the whole bike apart. They did a whole show on it. Oh, that's it. There we go. Brian Arnold. Yeah, they did a whole show. They painted their Rikers, took them apart, had them candy-coated painted, that candy paint, and they've been posting them. Yeah, so. Yeah, I seen that. That's that's something nice, man. That's a lot of work, man. It, it looks nice. The only reason I didn't paint my... The only reason I didn't paint my Riker is because I want to be able, if I can, later on, was to change it up. I didn't want to be stuck with a color. And then after a year or two, if I had it, um, after a year or two, if I had it, I'd be like, oh, I don't like this color no more. At least with a wrap, I could just peel it off and throw it in the garbage. Or peel it off, stick it on something, and put it back on later. I don't think it would be bad if I get the right... If I do it properly, I could probably save wraps and put them back on the sheet and put them away. Yeah, Brian Arnold. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, full throttle. That's your cuz. All right. And his wife. All right. I feel you. Yeah, they did a nice show. They got a lot nice. They took their bikes apart, put them back together. That was that was nice. Send it out for painting. That's They did a good job there. Real good job. So all the people that's checking in later... I just, that came in later to the show. I just made an announcement that me and can -M and BRP is, they have invited me to join into the can -M Collective as their team, on their team of brand ambassadors. And mm -hmm. as a brand ambassador, I get early information about new products. They send me new gear to review, use to invite you to use at future events. And reach out to you for potential can am content needs. So that's what it that's what now I am now a on the team of brand in that ambassadors. Hey Bill, appreciate it, man. Thanks for the love, man. I have to say the last um live I did, you know, a lot of people sent me love and I was able to get myself a nice new uh microphone to um to do my podcast. So Appreciate that. Thanks for the love, Bill. Thanks for the support. Appreciate it, man. Hope to have you on the podcast soon, man. It's, it's, it's going places and you got a nice channel. So to reach out to, you know, some more people. But uh, yeah, and uh, and for can -Am, being a brand ambassador, you know, I appreciate can -Am looking out. They actually, can -Am actually sent me a product that I just opened up. I unboxed it in front of everybody. I had got it like three days ago, but I said I was going to save the unboxing for the live stream. Uh, Riker Riders South Carolina joined. Hey, we're live on YouTube right now. It's like 20 Rikers owners and riders in the chat. Swing on over to the YouTube and um, let me know. Miriam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you? I'm doing fine. Appreciate you do you very much. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love you send. Appreciate it. Uh, Kevin was good. Thank you, brother. Thank you for the support. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, man. It's all good. Appreciate it a lot. Like I said, anybody just tuning in, I just made a big announcement between me and k and and BRP becoming one of their brand ambassadors so i'm going to be bringing you a lot more can-am stuff now and in the future it's already started i just unboxed a nice book bag ride impact rico oh man yo appreciate it man appreciate the support appreciate the love y'all send me for this channel man everything i do is just for the whole can-am community man i'm just trying to make this into a a real big event Rico appreciate it man you know I want to eventually build this up into something real big so like I said thank you can am also for making me put me into the brand ambassador program for 2021 like I said they've already sent me products for me to review and I'll be bringing you news products so 
I have this right here from Can-Am. They sent me a backpack. I did the unboxing. The quality is amazing, reflective. Uh, the lining is crazy. It's reflective. The backpack has uh, is set up so it doesn't sweat on your back. Good quality, waterproof. You know, I appreciate Can-Am for sending me this product. Uh, Can-Am is saying in the invoice. See, I don't know if this is Canadian, but I guess it doesn't matter. But the value on this is $67.25 for this... Um, for this backpack, this riding everyday outdoor backpack. So I don't know what it's retailing going for. I'm not really sure because they sent this to me to show you guys and to review. And it's called the Can Am All Element Dry Pack Back by OGIO. O G I O. Never heard of that company before, but what do I know? But uh, I wonder. Thank Can-Am for sending me this stuff. And, you know, I, I'll give you my full review on it. Like I said, I, I picked it up. It's well made. This is not sponsored by Can-Am. It has the BRP logo on it, reflective striping. It is a very, very well made bag. It almost feels like an insulated, insulated bag. I'm looking at it some more over here. So, yeah, it's got like... I don't know, it's got all kinds of stuff in here. Laptops, chargers. I don't think Can-Am sent any money in here for me, but, you know, you still got to check. Oh, I think the inside, oh. So I do believe you can unzip. You can unzip the liner. Oh, that's what it is. So you can unzip the liner and actually remove the liner in this bag. So I have to say it is really well made. Uh, Spartan Pope joined us in Instagram Live. Spartan Pope, we are live on YouTube right now. So if you want to uh, click on over to my YouTube Live, we are talking Can-Am stuff. I got about 20 five people in the chat right now so click on over to the uh click on over to my youtube live and uh we could talk some can am stuff with all these people going on uh oh miriam love the live chat learned a lot thank you hey i'm here to help you guys out man i i do this live chat just you know for the love of the brand, for the love of the bikes, you know. So I try to help some people. I actually I got a hit up on YouTube today. Somebody just uh went into my YouTube early in my video said, Hey man, I was riding around and stuck in traffic with my Riker just bought it and it turned off on me. So I had to let him know. I asked him if the fans came on a lot. He was like, Yeah, I said, Well that traffic I said, I think it shut down on you as a fail safe. I think you was running hot. You was about to overheat. So I think that's why I kept shutting down on you. It was running hot. You need to cool it down. So um, I hope it worked out for him. He didn't reply, but he just said thank you. So I'm hoping that worked out too. Oh, the Midnight Manicurist joined in. That's my wife right there. So you got to check out her nail brand. That's, her nail skills are sick. Sick. So... You want to, any of you guys want to show your lady some uh, serious nail work, that's the Instagram to go to, Midnight Manicure, it's all one word. Um, I, lo I love me the Can-Am Spider F3. Yo, that Can-Am Spider F3 is insane, man. Maybe in the future I'll go for the F3, but if you want to see some crazy F3 um, work and riding around, you definitely got to hit up um, Martin the Vlogger. His F3 is crazy. He's doing big things with that. I, like I said, that's the first F3 I've ever seen leave the ground. That's how fast he was moving. But can, Martin the Vlogger is doing big things. Oh, oh, that was me. Oh, I didn't know Yellow Fever was Spartan Po. Oh, okay. All right. 
Yellow Fever is Spartan Pope. I got you. So, yeah, I, I just didn't know. So, when I see somebody pop up on the IG, I just tell them to, to move over. Martin Vlog, don't mess with my market. <laughs> I'm far. <laughs> Martin's telling me, don't get an F3. <laughs> That's all right, Martin. We'll do. We'll trade some videos, Martin. I'm going to send you some... Um, my Riker footage of me riding around, and I want and uh, you send me your footage of your um, your F three riding around. No sound, no sound. I'm a, I'm gonna do my own commentary on it, and you could do the same with mine. All right? <laughs> we can sh we'll share the market, but don't worry. There's no F three in my future. I said unless Can Am drops it off to my house, there's no F three in my future. So you got the F three market locked down. So. I'm not even going to begin to talk about an F3 because I know nothing about it. All right, Fred May sent me a question. Fred from Philly. What up, Philly? I just got off the phone with Philly Riker Riders, Philly Riker Boys. Uh, my question to you is the two-speaker Bluetooth radio or if there's something cheap, it also looks like no windshield can be added together. All right, don't get the Bluetooth two-speaker radio. No, don't waste your money. It's a lot of money. And it does get in the way if you want to add things up to the front of your Riker. Go get some, look into some marine speakers and an amp and hook it up yourself. If you look, a lot of guys are putting speakers on the side. They're putting like these cannons on the side. Don't get that Bluetooth set up. It's not worth the money. I'm telling you right now, you can get some good aftermarket speakers and rig it up yourself. Don't do it. And if you want a windshield, you're going to have a nightmare. So trust me. I personally don't like the product. It, to me, it's just in the way, and it came out too quick, and I don't like where it, the way it looks. Uh, uh, let's see what else. Lewis says, yes, Martin has dope videos. Yeah, Martin got the dope videos. Miriam, yes, I like his video. Miriam watches you. Everybody <laughs> will unsubscribe from you. Yeah, I said, Martin, we could do it. We, Me and Martin got some things coming up anyway. When the weather gets a little bit nice over here, me and Martin got uh, a nice video. It's going to be really nice. Maybe, uh, I don't want to give it away. So I'm not going to tell you because Martin sent it to me in secret. And it came in like a, an undercover letter. And it was an encrypted email. So I can't even tell you what the video is going to be. But hopefully... Uh, I don't know. I can't. I can't give you any details, cause um, like I said, Martin swore me to secrecy. So, be looking out for that Martin, the vlogger, and Rolling on Three collab video. That's all I have to say. That's all I can say. It is. It's a, a collab video. Now nah, I'm not telling them, Martin. I'm sorry. I'm not telling them. Then I got to give up all the secrets. Then they, then, you know, I got to tell them that I'm buying. I got to tell them that I'm flying to Slovakia and I got to ship the Riker over there. I'm not going to tell them all that. That's too much work. That's too much work. Don't worry. We got me and Martin. We're, we're going to do a build up episode and, you know, maybe Martin will fly his F3 over to New York. All right, Bill, thanks for checking in. Thank you very much. If anyone needs your can am tune or anything, Riker Grill. That's right. Hit BLR Tuning if you need some work done. If you need that custom grill for your Riker. BLR Tuning. Hit them up. Um, Fred, uh, it's worth it, but Memphis has a complete set for 189 So, yeah, do it like that. Um... How to send you love from Europe. It's not to send money button down. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Martin. We'll work something out. Uh, my man my man Jamie sent me a question. He says, if you were in charge, what would you do to improve the Canon Riker bike or would you leave it as it is? Well, the only improvement I would have made to that bike was it should have came with more locking features. The trunk should have locked. The side brake should have locked. For something that's going to be on road, it needed more locks. That would have been my first change. Uh, that's probably my biggest change and, you know, other little things. But right now, 
that's what I did. Rico, how hard was the rapping process for your right gun? I bet I'll send it to the shop. Okay, here's my thing when it comes to rapping. It's not hard, but it is very tedious. If you don't have patience and you don't have time to spend and a place to do it, don't attempt it. It's work. And my second biggest thing is make sure you do it when it's very, very warm outside. If you do it when it's cold, you're going to have a hard time. So, Rico, uh, I would start off small. I would just get like uh, maybe try wrapping the hood and see how you do. If you feel it's too much for you, tend it to a shop. But you can do it. But those are my two big tips. It's tedious. My video was a lot of editing. It's tedious and make sure it's warm out because the warmer it is out, the better it is to flex that wrap because it was a little cold when I did mine and it was tough. So that's my tip for you. Quasi, bring the F3 to Texas. Oh, Texas is on the map. Trust me, Quasi. I got a lot of love from you guys from Texas. A lot of love. So I got to come down there and visit, man. I got my man Thrill Mouse over there. I got you. I got, oh, so much love from Texas, man. I got to come down there. Throw us on there. Oh, Bill Ramsey said he can tune the F3 as well. Check out Bill's BLR tuning. Hit him up on Facebook. Full, not a bigger fuel tank for throw. Nah, I don't think I need a bigger. I think I do pretty good on gas where I'm at. That's it. Uh, Quasi said adjustable camber caster for the front wheels. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah, that is. Uh, Quasi said, Bill, I might bend your E on a 900 Ace tuning. Quasi, no problem. See, that's why I do these live chats. So that, you know, the right good community could come together and, uh, you know, share with each other and bring each other together and ask questions and do improvements. And trust me, all that stuff that y'all do, now can -Am is watching. So all these recommendations and all these things you're doing and all these things you guys are saying, can -Am is watching and they're going to be making improvements to... Um, the Riker and the spiders and all of that. So, you know, keep keep the conversations going. Keep keep talking. And all of that. So y'all could uh, bring these improvements. Like I said, Can-Am has got my ear. And I got their ear. So y'all could work together. Okay, so uh, Martin and Bill's going back and forth. They're going to work something out. See how I could bring the... I'm bringing it over from Europe. Look at that. I'm bringing the continents together. I'm bridging the waters with the Can-Am. Look at that. Bill and Martin. BLR tuning and MTV manufacturing. Look at that. That's because of me. So when y'all do that video or whatever y'all do, I want that shout out. All right. Uh, Full Throttle said, what mic I got? I got the J-Lab Pro. Um, I don't know what else the number it is. The model. Let me look. Right now, I can't tell you the model, but it's the J-Lab Pro. Right now, I have it on a desk. My next purchase will be getting an arm so I can um, get it off the desk and put it up. And then I'll be working on some lights because I'm running some bootleg lighting right now. Um, that's pretty much what I bought right now. So little by little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving continents, man. Uh, Martin and Vargas said, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Speaking of oh, Jesus, I have to say, uh, one of my interviews, I met a preacher who rides a Riker, and he has blessed my show. I'll be dropping that teaser trailer soon, too. I've got my blessings. Yeah, Full Throttle, I know you're the man when it comes to equipment, bro. I've seen your setup. It's dope. It's dope as hell. Actually, uh, Full Throttle, thanks for the hookup for the Amazon. Uh, the link, what is that? Am I forgot the name of it, but I, I signed up. So I appreciate that, throwing that my way for a, a new YouTuber like me. So good looking out. Uh, Bill said, performance tuning is what I do for a living alone and manufacturing small stuff and bike work. <laughs> All right, Bill. And, uh, yeah, getting back to Martin, yeah, I am moving continents because, you know, I got the first Riker owner in Scotland. It might have been the first Riker hitting the ground in Scotland. I got that guy 
uh, the border Riker. So, uh, yeah, I do bring the continents together. Yeah, any other Can-Am owners bring the continents together? Martin? Nope, me. So, it is what it is. Uh, Just That Kid joined on the Instagram Live. Just That Kid, we are YouTube Live. I got about 25, 26 guys in the chat room on YouTube Live. Come join the Riker Talk with 27. Come join in on this Riker Talk. We just um, spreading that Can-Am love and giving each other tips and things going on and what's new. Like I said, uh, I made a nice... uh, and a, a nice announcement uh, earlier today that me and uh, BRP will be working to get together now and in the future. Hopefully to keep going in the future as a brand ambassador. So being a brand ambassador now, I'll be able to bring you more Can-Am products, reviews. Uh, hopefully when this world opens up, I'll be able to visit... Uh, the Can-Am factories and bring you more information from Can-Am to all of you guys who enjoy the Can-Am and the Can-Am products and the Can-Am, um, you know, just the Can-Am world. You know, Riker, Spider, whatever, Slingshot, Polaris. Um, yeah, just that kid where, where you could go into my YouTube right now. We're live in the YouTube chat. So if you want to get in here and, uh, discuss some YouTube stuff, let me know, let me know, Uh, Bill and Martin's going back and forth, I guess they're working out deals, Uh, Bill said, hit him up on BLR Tuning on Facebook, hit Bill up for that information, I guess you guys can uh, bridge that pond, I guess that's what they call it, right, I don't know, just what I'm not saying, but um, what time is it out there, Martin? Looking to get a little add more light with small breakdown. Anyone have a good setup? Oh, I'll send you information lights I got. So much richer than the old ones I started with. All right, thanks, uh, Cops Corn community. Yeah, send me that link. Uh, Mudville Riker looking at getting a more light with smart breakdown. Tech, anyone have a good setup for installing it? I don't know what that means. Anyone know of side mounting kit for rear license plate on the Riker? I don't know about a side mounting kit because you have that swing arm on the side and I wouldn't drill into it, so I don't know about a side mounting kit. But I mean, if you're worried about if you want to eliminate the whole back. And everything like that. I guess you could do maybe if you wanted to make a bracket to stick to the side. But I wouldn't put anything on that swing arm. No. Uh, Martin Navaga, Cool hat. Any t-shirts? No, you got the cool t-shirts, Martin. No, you got the two. Ride it like you stole it. Uh, you got the cool t-shirts. So I'm not going to get into the t-shirt game. You got that locked down. Bill, thanks for being on the show. Appreciate it. Uh, Rico's looking for any Riker riders in Charleston, South Carolina. So I guess he's looking to roll. So uh, any any Rikers or you know any Riker riders in Charleston, South Carolina, get on the chat. Hit Rico up. Rico A five A four three. Martin Latule, I've ordered some chicken wings so I can feel more American. Not helping with the time zone though. Oh, Martin needs chicken wings. I made some chicken wings last night on the grill. And some beef ribs. It was a meat lover's night. <laughs> uh, Miriam, hey, they are Rika Rider PR. Hey, they are Rika Rider PR. PR Puerto Rico? Hey, they are Rika PR. Who's Rika PR? I think, do I follow you guys on Rika PR? Are y'all guys on Instagram? I'm not sure. I am not sure. Latoria, what's up? Thanks for checking in. Thanks for um, supporting my channel. 
if you just tuned in, I just made a big announcement that uh, me and k and will be working together in the future. They just signed me on as a brand ambassador. So, yes, uh, this is for all of y'all. Appreciate it. Oh, the Night Riker's in the check-in. Thank you, Night Riker. Appreciate it. Oh, Miriam, yeah. Okay, I think I follow you guys on Instagram then. Yeah. Uh, Night Riker, thanks for checking in. Uh, if you just tuned in and didn't know, I made the big announcement today that me and can -Am and BRP will now be working together. Uh, they just signed me on as their brand ambassador. So I will be bringing you can -Am products and reviews from now into the future. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you for can -Am. Thank you, Latoria. Great. Okay, yeah, wow, I'm an hour into the stream. That's great. You guys are still... These guys are still on. Appreciate it. Uh, Baitany Wagung Wagang. Okay, I know I chopped that up. Uh, he just checked in on my Instagram live. If you want, you could shoot over to my YouTube, and we're in the chat right now because I tore your name up something horrible. Oh, fuck. Oh, Night Rider. I heard, man. Congrats, Mr. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I was shocked myself that can -Am reached out to me and said we want you to be down and they like what I was doing. So, uh, you know, of course I jumped on board. I'm a can -Am fan. Why not? So uh, now me and can -Am, uh working together and they already sent me my first product and I did a little review on it. It was nice. It was really nice. Oh, check this out. Martin of Lager said... This is pretty cool for anybody who's on live night. Whoever gives you the biggest love tonight, I will send them my t-shirt, ride it like you stole it. This is my love to you, Keith. So check that out. My man Martin the Vlogger said, whoever in the chat is going to get a free t-shirt for the biggest, biggest love I get from one of you guys. Oh, Steven said, I'm six feet, 290. That's big love. <laughs> Yo, that's big love. He wasn't lying. But check it out. You're going to get a t-shirt all the way from Slovakia. Let me tell you, man. You're getting good quality from over there. No one, you won't, if you tell that story, no one will believe you. I got this t-shirt straight from Slovakia. So, thanks for uh, Martin, the vlogger, throwing out this uh, contest in my chat room. Appreciate it. Much love from Martin, the vlogger, man. That's my guy over there. My Euro brother. Uh, Cops Court Community sent the biggest love. <laughs> Yo, Martin, you're going to have to go through this whole live chat. Uh, three Wheel Rusty. The Add More Light Bar has an accelerometer that flashes the brakes on the... Oh, I see what you're saying. The Add More Light Bar. Oh, I didn't get it at first. Oh, that's like the... um. People put in those like little resistors now into the brake lights that flash when you tap it. Oh, okay. I, I added some extra lights to the back, but I don't know about the flashing brake lights. It seems to me the more things that are flashing on the bike, it's the more people want to run into you. I don't know. It's just weird with the with can am. You know. If you have more steady lights. You know, just glowing lights. It seems like people notice you. But when they're flashing, it seems like they just want to get closer and closer. Uh, what's to add more lights? I need to see an install video. Well, we'll try to see who has an install video for that right now. All right. Latoria says, if you're watching, take time to smash that like button, please. Not only smash the like button, but please smash the subscribe button. I'm at 670 subscribers. I would like to hit 1,000 before the middle of the year. You know, so if you guys can uh, help me out, appreciate it. You know, just even send your friends and family. I need, uh, you know, anybody that's interested in bikes and want to follow what I'm doing, just... Uh, or just like to hear me talk my mouth off, just uh, please hit the subscribe button. I really need the subs. As they say in the YouTube community, I need the subs. Um, Martin the Vlogger 
it says six nine. Oh, they talking about the the add more ball. Quasi has the add more ball. Okay, so Quasi has it. So if you want to check out Quasi? Check out his videos. He already has it. No, oh, I'll be more than two k subs by the middle of the year. Trust me. I don't know. It's a slow and steady process, man. Slow and steady process. Quasi has three of the add more bars. I haven't installed it on my Rikey yet. Still trying to figure out a good mounting solution for the back of the Maxi mount. I inv I installed the light bar on the back of my Maxi mount. I got these mini LED bars. They're like made of metal. And I installed it underneath the Maxi mount with zip ties. Uh, if you can go look at one of my videos, you'll see. I think the video is, is it's just enough lights. And you'll see a little LED bar under the maxi mount. So there's a place where you could put a bar and you could zip tie it. So that's what I did. And it's, it's it was like the perfect size. So I used that one. Full Throttle says, no, you had 691 subs. Oh, man, I haven't checked. But I must have got some subs when I threw up the live and told people to join it's like i'm begging for money please sub please sub uh, the aluminum plate behind the seat full throttle oh that's what uh full throttle acts quasi i thought you was going to resolve the aluminum plate if anybody wants to come on um instagram live with me and you want to chat it up we can go back and forth too i'll I'll let you join Instagram live. and uh, I think we would, should be able to do it without too much echo in the mic. I'm hoping. I would, I'm not sure if we could do it. It might be too much feedback. But I guess I could try. Let me go back and see if I can do that. Let me see. It might be too much feedback. Let me t If I turn the volume up, let me see. Mm -hmm. I get some volume. <laughs> the night ragger say I beg for subs all the time. Yeah, I'm always begging for subs, man. It's, I'm always begging for subs. I need the subs. All you guys are, are blue by me and subs though. You guys got y'all guys got the channels, boy. Uh Clutch Riker join. Hey Clutch Riker, we are live on YouTube right now. If you go to my YouTube live, or well, we got a whole bunch of Rika and Can Am motors out here chopping it up. So if you want to jump in, uh, just let me come to my live, man. We're talking back and forth. It's nice. Um, yeah, Z, I I know the sub game. Full throttle. Life on. This is life on YouTube. Yeah, you're right. Grumpy, I always forget to ask for subs. I do too, Grumpy. That's why I put them. That's why I put the words in the bottom of my videos all the time. I'll never remember, so I always type in the bottom like, subscribe, and follow. If I could get any one of those, that'll be worth. That'll be worth it. Uh, Quasi said he had a camera mount on the back. Grumpy Rider, I want a cheese fake, cheese steak sub. Yeah, that sounds good right now. Uh, you know how to order a cheesesteak in Philly? I learned. You don't ask for you don't ask for a Philly cheesesteak. You only ask for you only say one with or one without. So one with onions and one without onions. That's all you ask for. You don't have to say I want a Philly cheesesteak. I learned that. That's uh, people from Philly told me that's how to order it. That's the all the last time I've been to Philly was years ago. I wasn't riding then and I went to get the I had I said I had to get a Philly cheesesteak. Why not? So uh someone told me how to order. Oh sorry. Oh these live chats are rough, man. Uh Isn't Knight Riker travel? Oh, yeah, Martin said, isn't Knight Riker traveling from Miami to ATL? I think you did, right? You traveled. Uh, Zia, you took a ride from Atlanta to Miami and back. <laughs> Latoria, what's up? <laughs> Uh, 
yeah man these these uh these live live streams is no joke i gotta talk my ass off excuse me i don't want to get taken off of youtube but yeah i gotta talk my ass off so yeah it's it's rough i'm a, i should put the phone so people could see well i want to see my messy can they see me i could put the phone so now whoever's live on Instagram can see what I'm seeing. So now they're looking at my computer. Uh, Jesus, man, don't talk food. I can't get chicken wings. I can get chicken wings, no cheesesteak down here. Uh, Latoria, congrats. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Rico said, how was that ride from Miami to ATL? Of oh, he's asking you, Zia, from um, Rico's accent, Zia, how was that ride from ATL to Miami? Full Throttle said, thanks, Zia, for, for that freeze-out gear recommendation. Yeah, that freeze-out gear was good. Hey, Kevin, uh, hit me up and uh, um, send me an email so I can get that out to you, Kevin. Send me an email. If that was for me, I'm not sure who you sent that to. Uh. Uh, let's see what else we got. Night Ragged was a blast and got day two video out and the rest will come out soon. All right, cool. The Night Ragged dropping some videos for y'all. Mm. The Night Ragged dropping some new videos. Uh, check out his channel. Like, subscribe, and follow to the Night Riker. He's got some cool riding out vlogs, things going on. So definitely check it out. And definitely... Uh, Check out, you know, subscribe to my channel because um, if you look down right here below, I got an interview coming up with BRP. Um, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. And someone also asked me to ask BRP if an electric Riker was in the works. So if you want to know the answer to an electric Riker in the works, you have to sub to my channel and watch that interview with me and BRP Global. Oh, what's up? Jose. Oh, said what's up to Rolling On 3 and all Riker Riders. Jose from South Jersey. Jose, what's up, man? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for showing me love. Uh, Jose, since you just got in, I uh, just made a big announcement that me and uh, Rolling On 3 and Can-Am are going to be working together. I'm going to be a brand ambassador to the to the Can-Am product. And we're going to be, uh, I'm going to be bringing you some future Can-Am stuff. Reviewing products and working together. And you'll learn a lot of things about Can-Am through me. So, you know, thanks for the support. Thanks for the support of the podcast. And like I said, coming up. I'll have BRP on the podcast, and we're talking about all things Can-Am in the future and a lot of things happening. I'm about to stop here in a few minutes. I'll join you live on Instagram if anyone has some questions about long trips. Oh, I'll still be here. I'll, I'll, I'll try to get you on. If if I can get you on and there's no feedback in the, in the voice, uh. Yeah, I'll put you on the YouTube and we could chat back and forth live on the Instagram while I'm on YouTube live. So, yeah, if you get in, we could do that. Um, so, like, yeah, like I said, um, so Can-Am's going to be sending me some products to review. Um, like I said, the first product they did, I already did an unboxing. I'll show you guys again. So Can-Am sent me this old weather bag. So it's reflective. It has the Can Am on it. Um, real, really good quality, quality, weatherproof, uh, reflective lining that's removable. Has places for your laptop, your phone. On the back, it has the airflow, so you don't get a uh, sweat from your back because it is a waterproof bag. Um, fold over, strap down adjustable cushioned like a well made well made bag will the brp interview be added to your podcast channel yes the brp interview has been filmed it has been edited and 
everything has been done I'm just waiting for the release time as soon as I uh, as soon as BRP me and BRP agree on the day they want me to release it uh, I will release it and I will also be live on it because it will be a premiere and you know y'all can ask questions back and forth and I'm hoping to get at least a representative from BRP to be live in the chat room so while it's playing you guys can go back and forth so yes yes my man Spartan uh, the BRP interview will be added to my podcast D says what's up D what's up man welcome back man thanks for checking in um, you know appreciate you showing me love if you just checked in D um, you know I just made an announcement that me and BRP and the rolling on three will be working together they uh accepted me as a brand ambassador so i will bring you i will now be bringing you can-am products updates and reviews on things coming out for can-am so for d thank you uh steven says headed out to check my new heated gloves and grab some bojangles much respect to your channel congrats on the can-am partnership brother pete steven appreciate it uh enjoy that that chicken uh it's cold out there but you know there's not too many Bojangles where I'm at, but, you know, enjoy that. I'm quite sure it's going to be delicious. So, Coach, Coach RB just joined the Instagram. Uh, Coach, we are live on YouTube. Uh, I'm, do, I'm doing a live YouTube today because I made a big announcement between me and Ken and that we're doing a partnership now that I will be a brand ambassador. And I will be bringing you uh, Can-Am products and future Can-Am events. And Can-Am will be reaching out to me on things about products being released and in development. And I will be getting that feedback from you guys from the Can-Am community and bringing that back to Can-Am on the likes and the dislikes. So thank you, everybody, for the support. D, yes, brother, waiting on that. Appreciate it, D. Appreciate it. Uh, like I said, uh, they already sent me my first product. It was that that uh, riding backpack, that full weather riding backpack. Nice backpack. Uh, the weather is kind of messed up today. So I might take it outside and leave it in the back because I got a little rainy cold day going on. So I think I'll take it outside and put it in my backyard and see how it holds up see how it holds up to uh the weather oh my man billy doing a check in billy what up and uh i got that stuff out in the mail to you asap you know we spoke before my man billy that's my homie from back in the days he said they picked the perfect person appreciate it appreciate it billy you know i put in some hard work and it did pay off you know that whole thing wish it to existence Miriam. Hey, make sure they work on the price of those candy products. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You know, I, I, I respect that. You know, I'll pay I'll pay for good quality stuff. That's how I feel. So yeah, we'll be working on that, Billy One. I mean Miriam. 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 Yeah, we'll be working on that. So if that's what y'all want me to tell Can Am, then that's what I tell Can Am. See, everything that you bring to me. I'm going to bring it back to Can-Am. So if y'all if y'all have a price issue with the products, let me know. You know, if y'all don't like the way it looks, let me know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring everything y'all bring back to Can-Am. Billy wants to definitely keep it up. Yeah, thanks, Billy. Thanks for the support. Billy's been supporting me since day one from back in the days when I was doing other things. So uh, shout out to Billy one. Grumpy Riker, I need to get a ride in. Congrats, Keith. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, Grumpy. Grumpy's been a supporter of me for a long time. Grumpy's got a cool channel. You know, I like Grumpy. He's got a lot of knowledge. He got some years on them bikes. So um, check out Grumpy. He's going to be on the podcast. I, I got his, uh, his interview on deck. Grumpy's a cool dude, man. Cool guy, man. Check out his channel. Grumpy Riker Rider. Check it out. I like what he's doing. Oh, Marion. Oh, no, I appreciate you. Marion, appreciate you, man. Thank you for the love and support. You know, 
definitely appreciate you know you guys helping me lift this K&M thing up and I like I said I want to I want to give it back to you guys so the reason why I do all of this the reason why I do all this is because you know it's going to help the brand right uh, D says it's 61 in Texas I'm going to take a ride much love from Dallas everybody stays safe D is out uh, D's taking a ride. Well, as I said, Texas is on the check-in, man. I say, man, you guys from Texas show so much love. That's that's got to be like my first stop. Well, I'm I'm if I ride through, but I gotta go down. I gotta go down to Texas. Right? I'm in New York, down to Texas. Yeah, because you know all you guys from Texas, man. Life on Reich is D. All y'all show that love, thrill, mouse. If I'm forgetting you guys, whatever Texas Riker riders is. God, Texas got love. I'm, I might have to retire down there to Texas, man. I'm like, I like Texas. I like the love y'all giving me. Y'all gonna make me move down there when I retire from, from New York, you know? Get out of here and go down somewhere nice. So that's my plan. But, you know, Texas shows a lot of love. But So, yeah, anybody just checking in, you know, um... Hey, let me fix that real quick. Yeah, so anybody checking in, I just wanted to make the announcement that me and BRP and K&M will be working together as a brand ambassador. So I appreciate that. You know, K&M showing a lot of love and, you know, accepting me into the, into the K&M community. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, don't forget BRP will be on the podcast I will be putting an announcement when that comes out Because a lot of people ask me uh, One of the big questions was Is there Electric Riker on the way And Electric Riker will be Answered in the podcast That's all I can say uh, Full throttle why you think me and the wife are moving in A few months yeah Texas is no joke man I get a lot of love from Texas Arnold Falk Just joined IG Live Hey, we are on uh, YouTube Live right now, so if you want to jump jump in the chat. I'm not sure. I think there's about 25 people in the chat room, so if you want to talk Reich and k and stuff, let me know. Uh, Marion said, no, go to Florida. I like Florida. I like Florida, too, but it's hot. It's really hot all the time, but I guess Texas is hot, too. I don't know, man. I, I, I love Florida, but y'all are crazy out there because, you know. <laughs> It's all open and the roads and the palm trees and y'all do a big out in Florida too. I like Florida. Uh Rico asks if I got rusting issues. Yes, I do have rusting issues. Uh if you check one of my channels, <laughs> one of my videos it says my Riker's rusting away. I show you some rust issues that I have with the Riker. Yes, you will get rust issues on certain little parts. So yeah, I get it. Not crazy though. I get uh on the welds, on the little bit of the on the aluminum welds, I get the rust issue. But I I got rid of the muffler, and that's where mostly all the rust was from. The muffler is where it was. Cops going community. Florida is where it's. Florida is where I'll be. Yeah, cops going community has been talking about. He'll be moving down to Florida, so. I got a place to go hang out later. I got people from all over, so I have to visit. I'll be driving all the way down, so I'll have to stop in all these places. Philly, Texas. Who else is showing me love? Philly's showing me a lot of love. Texas is showing me a lot of love. Now Florida's showing me love. And uh, I got to ride out with, with, in Puerto Rico, man. I watch your videos out there. Man, yeah. <laughs> You guys in Puerto Rico and girls are running deep, man. I, I, if there's a way I could get my shadow, bring the shadow black Riker out to Puerto Rico, I'm going to do it, man. Y'all y'all are riding mean out there, man. Uh, full, fly, full throttle said Florida is crazy. Florida in general is crazy. <laughs> oh, snap. But yeah, man, I was watching some of that. The craziest ride outs I watch is probably Philly and Puerto Rico. Like they are 
big and humongous. So I guess I could go down. I'll do the Philly thing. I don't know. I got to see what the riding's going to look like for this year. But I definitely want to take some trips. Maybe I'll do the trailer, put the put the bike on the trailer and ride down to some different states when the summer breaks. If I get some vacation time. It's hard. It's hard. You know, I got to put on that 24-7 grind. Uh, aftermarket parts can void your warranty. Uh, Miriam. Yeah, aftermarkets can void your warranty. But only the from what I gathered from from B Can Am, uh, the only aftermarkets are the ones that are not authorized and the ones that you connect to the electrical. But as for like add-on pieces, like you know uh, a grill or you change the light bulbs and things like that, that's that won't affect your warranty. So mainly something if you alter the electrical, that might va mess up your warranty. Uh, Martin of Lago has got to go. Uh, he still got the t-shirt contest. He says for me to continue to pro. Whoever shows me the biggest love, uh, and he put money in um, parentheses, but it doesn't really matter about the money, but... You know, I'm not going to let money be the issue. But Martin of Vlogger says, hey, whoever shows me the biggest love will get a ride it like you stole a t-shirt directly from Slovakia. From his channel, Martin of Vlogger. So, whoever shows me love, regardless of its money or just in general comments of love will win the t-shirt. So Martin of Vlog is going to go through the live chat and pick who he thinks show me the most love, okay? So remember that contest, ride it like you threw like ride it like you stole it t-shirt from Martin of Vlog Slovakia from Slovakia. So if you want to be the first person to say, "Hey, I got a t-shirt I got a t-shirt from Slovakia. Uh, join into this live chat. Hey, the Night Riker, you were on there? I don't, I don't see. Did you just join? I don't know how to invite you, though. I never did that before, but we'll figure it out. Um, oh, yeah, don't forget. Oh, whoever wins. All right, so whoever wins, Martin says, I have to get your address from them. So when we go through the chat... And he tells me, I will try to contact one of you guys and get your address. So, we'll figure out how to do that somewhere in whoever wins. And then we'll get in touch with you. Unless you want to do it. Uh, how would you want to do this? All right, we'll work it out. Whoever wins, whoever shows me the love. We'll get a ride it like you stole the t-shirt from Martin the Vlogger. That's martinthevlogger.com. Check out his channel if you're into F3s. I wonder, three-wheel rusty. I'm wondering if aftermarket grill on the air intakes will avoid the warranty. No, uh, three-wheel rusty. Uh, that won't void your warranty. From what I got from BRP, because I took my k and back and I had already put some aftermarket stuff on it. He was like, as long as you didn't go... And messing around with the electrical, uh, that's not gonna void your warranty. So adding a, adding a, I'm sorry, adding a grill or things like that. Oh, sorry, adding a grill, stickers, uh, things like that won't mess with your warranty. It's when you start messing with the electrical, then that's gonna mess you up. If you change the intake, that'll mess you up. Your warranty, that'll void up your warranty, so things like that. So just be careful. Even LED lights, I don't think will void your warranty if you plug them into the accessory port. I think what they mean by violating, if you go directly into the battery or make major modifications. But add-on parts won't mess up your warranty. Trust me, I've already brought my bike back and haven't had a problem with that. And I bought it back with LED lights on it. Night Riker, 
saying good night to MTV Martin the Vlogger. So yeah, Martin the Vlogger got a little thing going on. If you uh, send some love, I'm assuming he means send some love through the Cash App. Uh, he will be sending you a Ride It Like You Stole It t-shirt from Martin the Vlogger. And I'm quite sure he's going to give whoever wins a shout out in his night uh, in his uh martin the dot com uh channel so anybody want to learn that f3 stuff go through martin the vlogger he's got it going on uh night Riker. i see you on night Riker. i see i see you on instagram but i gotta figure out how to join how do you join anyone can see, watch this live video too go live with search the night rider, the Senate. I'll send you a request, uh, night rider, in the Instagram and see. I'll send you a night, I'll send you an invitation, to see if we can do this live chat through the Instagram. Miriam Quinn, Miriam, hey, how about if they. PL? Uh, what's PL? I'm not sure what that means. Miriam shows me a lot of love all the time, so. Let's let you know, but um, let's see. Well, remember, Martin the Vlogger. I have one of his t-shirts, though. How you know if they're the plug? Oh, if they, are you talking about the plug? Into the auxiliary port? Is that what you're saying? How you know if they're plugged? Is it, I think that's what you're trying... Is that what you're trying to say? I'm not sure. The Night Rike is unable to join. Jose... Jose Slingshot just joined. Uh, Jose Slingshot, we are live on... Jose Slingshot, we are live on YouTube right now, on my YouTube channel. So we're talking that Riker stuff. So if you, oh, okay, so you can go to the YouTube live. Let me see if I can get the volume up, Zia. Let me see. How about now? Can you hear me? Well, you could probably hear me if you're watching YouTube. I'm wondering if I can hear you, though. I'm getting feedback. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Now I can hear you. All right, I have to connect my Bluetooth, so hopefully there's no echo. No, I'm not getting an echo. Am I getting an echo out there? No, YouTube saying I'm not getting an echo. All right, so check this out. I'm going to turn the camera and I'm going to face the YouTube community that's live right now. Let's see if you can get at least see. How about now? You can see? You see my messy basement too? You got me? You got me? So now I think they can see you. I'm assuming. So now I got Zia the Night Riker on. What? Can't see you? What? I got to bring it up? Higher, higher, higher. No, you can just, wait. You I can't see. No, I can't see you in my screen because that screen is little. I can't see it yet. But anyway. No worries. <laughs> no worries. All right, well, I got Zia the Night Riker on Instagram Live. So if y'all got any questions for the Night Riker, hit me up too. So. Hey, first of all, man, I know I've sent this in a text, but congratulations on that Can-Am front. It's really cool. I'm really glad Can-Am's doing this, though. That's really nice. You know, that's that's awesome on their part, I think, you know. Yeah, man, it, it, it's dope. I mean, Can-Am just reached out to me. It was a crazy story. Uh, Thrill Mouse is on the check-in. I got to give him What's this up, shout Thrill out. Mouse? Thrill, yo, bird? jump on that YouTube live so I could you could chat in this in this three-way or actually 25-way chat we got going on. But, uh... <laughs> But um yeah, so Zia, uh, it was crazy. I get a, I got an Instagram message from Can Am. It says, "Hey, um, give me a call." So I was like, well, "What is this type of spam?" You know, like Can Am. <laughs> so I was like, then I got nervous. I was like, "Oh, they gonna tell me to cease and desist?" You know, like, "Hey, you can't do that, right?" So, so I was like, "All right, let me see what happens." So I give him a call. I give him a call, and it, it's um, it's Jonathan from um. Um, <laughs> it's Jonathan from Can Am on Road, and he was like, "Hey man, I came across your channel, and 
you know, I was, I like what you're doing. So he started going back and forth with me and we had a nice conversation. Wait, hold on. Marion said the can air have a lot of plug and play lights. Yeah, they do. But there's an auxiliary port you can use that's under the fender to plug and play and you won't have a problem. So you'll never have to splice wires ever, Miriam. It's got a plug and play port. It's easy to use and you can hook up tons and tons of LEDs. So, oh yeah. Uh, Thrill Mouse, see, this is crazy. So now I gotta ask everybody. Thrill Mouse said, Yo, Zia, how many hats you on, bro? Probably 10 to 15. Yeah, because you know, uh, here, this is first time. I've never shown my head before anywhere. I'm a little. Oh, I'm Zia hair. took his hat off. I'm, I'm losing hair, so I've got like 10 different, 10, 15 different hats. Uh, you know, mostly black color hats, blue, red, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Irish style hats, but. Miriam, but hey, my thank question, you. Chris, my question to you is like, how long did you wait? Oh, like, this is. Why are, they, why are they texting me? Why are they telling me to call them? You know, what's going on? Yeah, this is crazy, right? So, oh, uh, Miriam, thank you very much. Thank you for the congratulations. So, so when they called me, so I was like, all right. So then he answered, and you know, it was a uh, his name was uh, it was Jonathan from Can Am on Road, the lead global in yeah. in um, advertisement. So he was like, yeah, I like what you're doing. And he was explaining to me about what Can-Am is bringing to the future. And, you know, he liked what I was doing and all this. And we're going back and forth. So it was a very nice conversation. So, you know, he's like, listen, if you got any ideas or anything you want me to bring, um, you know, here's my personal phone number and everything. So I was like, all right, this is great. You know, so I I didn't even think anything of it. I was like, all right, cool. So uh, I wound up getting the idea of saying, well, man, why don't I just have him on the show? Like, it's like a no-brainer, right? So I call yeah. him back, and I was like, listen, I, I don't know if, if this will work for you, but all the stuff that we talked about, let's have it on the show. And um, he said, well, I don't know if I could do it, but maybe I could find somebody. So I was like, even better. So then he calls me back. He says, yeah, the lead of global consumer relations from BRP wants to be on the show. I was like, okay. <laughs> yep, let's do it. <laughs> I was like, okay, so let's schedule it, you know, so we went back and forth on some questions, and, you know, you went through the whole process, this is what's going to happen, and, you know, these are the questions, and, you know, they, they approved it, and uh, came back, and we did the interview, yeah, he kept it, you know, nice, um, it was a nice interview, you know, he threw some gems out there about Can-Am and everything, and it was just a it was just a great interview. It was a great, and you know, we talked, but of course, behind the scenes about things, and you know, it, it. We even talked about me coming down to going up to Canada, and when the world opens up, and uh, doing a live show out there. That is awesome. Yeah, man. it was I crazy. Can't wait to see that come so, to fruition. Yeah, that is awesome. So I sat on that email, Zia, for about <laughs> I don't know about three weeks, maybe. It was burning me up. It was burning me up. <laughs> Three weeks. I thought you would say like four days, five. No. Oh, man. No, That's... man. I was holding it because I said, let me get the show filmed first. And, hey, yeah. um, Mariam, I appreciate it. I always want to help you out with your bike. You can just hit me up anytime you have a problem or a question. I'll be there for you. I'll try to answer <laughs> them as much as I can. But yeah, so I was sitting on it and I said, all right, before I run out and say all this, I said, let me make sure that, you know, we get the whole thing filmed and everything works out and the, it comes out good. So I filmed the show. I did the editing. You know, I was, that was the first video I was editing. I put everybody else's on the shelf. I'm sorry. But I said, let me get to this one. And um, I did everything. So I was like, all right, so this is good. So then finally, I was like, all right, so now I'll do an announcement. And then I get a package in the mail from Can-Am. So I'm like, oh, they really serious with this. So Can-Am sends me a box. So I said, all right, I won't even open it till I do the live show. So I opened it on the live show. So they gave me my first product to review. So it, I mean, they've, they've been pretty good. I mean, I've had several conversations with these guys. So they, they, That's good, they're man. good all over there. Yeah. Actually, I saw their website. For the first time, like, there's a section of all the riders. Have you seen that one? They've got, like, starting with, uh, you know, Coach Bob and Vicky. And then I think they've got like, little, little, yeah. like, profiles on, yes. like, seven yeah. riders. Yeah, the Can-Am on Road series. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, the Can-Am on Road. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I was yeah. like, wow, I never even know 
knew this existed. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I like the fact how they're they're taking like average, you know, like you know, just like the regular guys putting them on there. Like, yeah, hey, that's, man, these are the Canon writers. That's what I was saying. I was like, yeah, you picked a small guy for for all this, but he was like, nah, I really like what you're doing. You're doing it different. Uh, Cops Court and Community says I'm out, bro. Congratulations, yo. Appreciate Cops Court and Community. Been we've been working together. And he's been supporting me since day one, from back when he was even a little guy himself on YouTube. I remember that. Now he's got like ten thousand subs. Uh, Jose Rivera says, Yo, what's up, Knight Riker? Love your channel. Uh, just cut it off. LOL. Oh, he said he just cut his off. I'm assuming his hair. Uh, I started losing mine a long time ago. <laughs> And I just cut it. I just cut it now. Less hats for me. <laughs> oh man! Hey Jose, thank you very much, man. Hey, let, let me tell you, this is this is one mod I would be proud of if I had a whole lot of hair. <laughs> Listen, but man. This is one mod I keep to myself. <laughs> I feel you, bro. I'm telling you right now. I'm holding on to my hair, but as soon as they as soon as they say no, no more, it's coming off. I said, I'm just I'm blessed right now, but I, I'm. I pray every day I don't wake up and it's not on the pillow next to me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to Turkey. I'm going to get a hair transplant. That's what I'm going to do. I hear you, bro. I hear you, man. So, uh, uh, Marion gave Martin a shout out. Uh, Martin, the vlogger, helped her out with her bike so many times. All right. Uh, yeah, Martin the Vlogger said, uh, whoever shows the most love will get a Ride It Like You Stole the T-shirt all the way from Slovakia. So uh, if anybody wants to say, hey, I got this T-shirt from Slovakia, uh, put some love in the chat right there. So, you know, I've been on here for a long time and, you know, my producer of the show is only uh, 12 years old and I'm quite sure this is this sucks for him. <laughs> but he runs all my background, so, yeah, I hired my son to do it. He produces all my live shows, so... Y'all can check out my son's channel, uh, Noah Bon Bon, if y'all want to subscribe to some little, he does uh, animations and stuff like that. B-O-N, B-O-N, yeah. He does, uh, yeah, yeah, check it out. He does little animations. He's working on being a a 12 years old. I think he's going to be a little graphic artist, so. Nice. Uh, he's he's doing his thing. The sooner the better. The sooner the better. Your channel is gonna look different the, the moment he gets some skills in it. Yeah, I know, man. So I, I'm gonna need a super producer. So I'll keep it in the family. This way, I won't have to spend a lot of money. If you know. Oh yeah. If I oh, get yeah, big enough to get a. Kids. That's why we have kids. You know. <laughs> <laughs> big enough to get a studio and make it a family business. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because right now I'm working with the bare minimums. I tell you, I put this whole thing together on a whim, man. If I show you my setup, you'll be embarrassed. I look at other guys like uh, uh, Full Throttle got a nice Mr. Stitch well, up. Don't forget, they've got 10 million subscribers too, so forget that, okay? Yeah, that's true <laughs> hey, too. Hey, whatever kind of setup you have, you know, on camera, as long as it looks presentable, that's all that matters, you know? It doesn't matter if you have a 100 things laying around or mess or boxes open or closed doesn't matter that's true i mean you could only see what i let you see but uh, everybody exactly. on everybody that looks on instagram can see like oh this guy's sitting in this basement on the green screen so yeah but <laughs> youtube don't see that youtube gets to see all these yeah, fancy yeah, I back saw that. i just saw that and i'm like man he's he's got a i don't have a green screen <laughs> I had to make a I had to make a podcast studio up real quick, so you know I went and got right. all everything I could and carved out an area in my basement so I could bring you guys all this K and M content that y'all been looking for since yeah. nobody else has been putting out a podcast. So appreciate it. So it was a it's a work in progress, but you know it is what it is. <laughs> I tell everybody on Instagram don't. Don't put no stuff in my background. I try not to give them the whole green screen because last time I gave one of these guys the green screen, they started putting things in my background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that, could get, that could get tricky and messy. Yeah, so I, I got it. Hey, hey, let me just tell you, like three years ago, uh -huh. I didn't even know how to edit a video. Like I would shoot a 10-minute video, mm -hmm. and if I made a mistake, I'd be like, dang it, that was just a minute before I was going to end it. I would stop, start over again from front, from beginning to end, and, and right. then somebody told me, well, why don't, why don't you just use Apple iMovie and edit it? I'm like, what? Yeah, that's what do you mean? I that's crazy. I don't even have an Apple phone. What do you mean? <laughs> Listen, man, I, I was the... I edit these videos. <laughs> 
I was the same way, man. I edit, and if I don't, I got a 16-year-old that knows what he's doing, too, so I'll just hit him up right. and be like, hey, man, can you do this and do that? And do... You know what? I never had to edit any podcast yeah. except for, I think the first podcast I had to edit was Beth from Riker Rodders. Because okay. she had said something in the podcast and she emailed me like three days later. She said, do you think you can remove what I said? And I was like, sure I can. And I'm saying to myself, no, I can't. I don't know how to do that. But I said, sure, sure. And then I, I, I begged my son, one of my sons, to be like, hey, uh, you think you could take this word out? He's like, easy, one, two, three, in two seconds. And he had it done. So I was like, oh. Kids, man. My daughter is teaching me stuff I never knew. Before. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing, bro. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. There anybody who's um right now on it's IG. Scary, it's scary too. Yeah, it is. They're not talking to each other. Our generation, when phones came out, we were still talking. We wouldn't text. No. Now it's just you know. No, they know what they're doing. Like uh, across the room, but you'll be texting each other rather than just talking. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's it's crazy, man. The way they do these things, these kids got it down pat. It's all packed. tech filled, man. It's all tech filled. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Uh, anybody who's watching on Instagram live right now, I'm on live on my YouTube channel right now in my YouTube chat. Uh, I don't know how many people are left in the YouTube chat room right now, but I have to check. But if anybody wants to some Riker talk, Riker love, Can-Am, Spider love, Can-Am, anything we're going on on YouTube. I'm live on YouTube right now. I got Zia from... His channel, The Night Riker, he's live with me on IG. We're just chatting up back and forth. So, uh, Hey, did you ever get your interview dates down with Byron Arnold? Uh, you know, the, 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 the guy in Atlanta, the couple? Yeah, I, the I, key, hit, the key and our, yeah, yeah. I hit them up. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to be like, uh, well, you know, I mean, everybody's busy, but I hit them up like yeah. twice and you know, I didn't get a response and then I... I hit him in the live chat, and I didn't really get the response I wanted, so I just kind of let it like, ah, right, you know, it is what it is. Well, let, him get, let, him, let him get back to you. I'm sure he's got like, I, I don't know the guy, but I, from what I can see, he's, he has a normal job, and then he has a side business, and then he does, and then he just got his bikes in, so I'm sure he's just excited about that. Yeah, they yeah. Do look amazing. Look, I, and, uh, I I get it. I get that people are busy and they can't, you know, just jump on it as quick. Yeah. And I always, I'll get a. Uh, you know, I get an email from somebody, hey, I want to be on the show. I'll be like, hey, yeah, all right, cool, let's book times. And then three months later, they'll be like, all right, you know, so I get it. The world gets in the way. I, I don't take it personal. It's no big thing. It's just. I mean, you know, he has, the, he has the green bike, which obviously looks good. That's like a lot more money than I want to spend on the Riker. Yeah, that's actually uh, going but... around Instagram a lot. He, the way he, the paint job he put on his Riker, that candy paint Riker is crazy, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. I mean, both the paint jobs are amazing, but man, I'm just, I, I'm just thinking in my mind, how much do you think that would cost? That would be, that would be a great, that would be a great, uh, uh, a question to throw out there for like some, uh, in exchange for some free stickers if they get close to it. <laughs> he did a live show though, uh, two live shows. Yeah, but what? they didn't answer. Yeah. Oh, they yeah, didn't, didn't answer. They didn't answer because they pay, obviously they paid, uh, uh, you know, a different price. Yeah. They're probably promoting the guy as well, you know. But man, I, I can't imagine it's gonna be less than at least a at least a couple of grand. I don't know. The can it's a candy paint job on it's top a, of that. Yeah, I they mean. candy paint the Rika, they candy painted the wheels and they it's that fluorescent chameleon paint. So you yeah. figure the wheels, all the plastics, all the metals, I mean yeah. I mean, it was a, somebody put in a lot of work. So yeah, it was a oh, it, yeah, yeah. it was a decent. But, you know, I wanted to let you know. I don't know if Barry's on uh, YouTube with you right now, but no, he Barry's also not. Had another Green Riker uh, on his channel. It was the Green Lantern. I thought that was pretty cool too. I kind of like that oh. Green Lantern take on the on the Riker. I liked it. Oh yeah, I saw the Green Barry Lantern. Did. Yeah, I saw actually. I saw that yeah. video when they met up. I saw that video when they yeah. met up. The Green Lantern. I was like, he was. I like that idea. Yeah. He said, he said, oh, I watched, he said, I watched the podcast. He said, I watched them, I, I watched them all in a row. So I was like, yeah. he gave me a nice shout out. And then, you know, of course, Thrill Mouse was like, yeah, I was on that show. Yeah, I was on that show. <laughs> but I was like, yo, I don't know if Thrill Mouse is on. I tell him to jump into the YouTube chat so we could chop it up. But Texas yeah. always be 
the Texas gives me a lot of love. Then I just got off with um, oh, yeah. with uh, Philly Riker boys. Yeah. Yeah. So I just did a show with a uh, podcast with them. Them guys, they were in Miami when I did the podcast with them. Yeah. There's a big group here. You probably know of them before even I knew of them. It's the Spider Squad Atlanta. Yeah, Spider They're Squad a Atlanta. Big group down here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just. We talked to them on, on Instagram. I'm like, man, I would love to ride with you guys, you know. And uh, they are immediately responded back, like, hey, here's my number. Whenever you're ready, I'm like, awesome. I just got back from Miami. Give me a couple of weeks. <laughs> you missed the. a the, up. You missed a big yeah. ride. You wasn't in Miami for that big ride out then. No, no, I had to come back. My work was starting, so the only time I didn't want to go alone, right? So I went with a buddy of mine, Brian, right? And uh, Beth knows him as well, so you know we all hung out together when Beth was here, right? So he had a, a specific What up, Damon? I had that what up? Off too. So yeah, go ahead. We just went on the 26th and came back on the 30th. So didn't have a whole lot of time. I know that the ride was coming up or the meetup was coming up, which was big, but it was, you know, we, all everything, for us at least, the work opened up on the 4th. So we, were, we had to, I had to be back. Yeah, all right. It probably took me like a day or two just to recover from that long ride, you know. That's a lot. So, that's a lot of time on the bike. Yeah, that's a lot of time. Anybody who's watching on YouTube live right now, I, I'm on uh, Instagram live with Zia from the Night Riker. So uh, you check out his channel, the Night Riker. We on we're chopping it up right now on uh, Instagram live while we're on this YouTube live. So, oh, Green Lantern's in the chat, uh, Night Riker. He just jumped in. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, tell him, hey, we like his bike, man. His bike looks Nah, that's awesome. dope, man. That that Green Lantern spin is high. That might be the first uh comic um breaker out that I've seen that somebody used the comic yeah. book theme to. So yeah, that's theme, dope. Yeah, comic theme to it, yeah. It yeah. looks good too. I like it. Yeah, yeah. It uh, looks awesome. Kevin Middleton, any people for the upstate of South Carolina? Anybody out there riding their rikers, he's looking to hook up, so let him know. Uh, I got T.O. Max sent me something. I believe this is Brazil. I'm assuming. Nice. Yeah. Salve Brazil. I mean, I, I, my, I can't really translate it, but it looked like Brazil. So I'm going to just go with Brazil. If I'm wrong, I'll try to see if I can find a translation button in there for you. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, it, this is cool man I, I mean i like doing the live shows because i get a lot of love and i tell you some guy hits me up today through youtube and says hey man i'm riding my Rika. i'm in traffic and it just keeps shutting off on me so i was like wow yeah so i said listen man are, is your fan coming on a lot he was like yeah i said well you're, you're overheating and it's, it's shutting down so you don't burn your motor so i sent him an email back i said listen Pull over, let it cool down, check your coolants, and try to find a ride where you're not sitting in traffic. And um, now he didn't hit me Definitely up back. Must be something to do with the coolant. It has to be. Well, I know where I'm riding in the summer. When I get in that New York City traffic, that fan will kick on a lot. And I never had the bike shut off, but I have heard that people say when it gets too hot, it will shut itself down to save the motor. So. I don't know if that's what was happening to him, but I told him, pull over, let it cool down, check your coolant, make sure you're not low. And He didn't hit me back, but I hope it worked out for that guy. So whoever you was that hit me up, man, just let me know that thing worked out for you, man. I tried to help you as quick as I can, you know, but you sent me it. You sent it to a YouTube chat. I probably would have got it faster if it was through e email, but, you know, just let me know, you know, if it worked out for you, was able to get back on the road with your Riker, man. Let me know. Yeah, Green Lantern's back in the chat room. He's, oh, there it is, Green Lantern. Yeah. Hey, man, your bike is lovely. I don't know if you heard us, but, man, we really like the team. I, I think you, the people done, can man. hear you. Like, can they hear it? No, they can yeah. hear the... Um, can they... No, can they hear the Instagram through the... Uh... No, I don't know. Oh, okay. You know, if it worked out for you, it was able to... But, no, that's cool. Get yeah, back yeah, on the road. comic theme bike. It looks good. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it looks good, man. The Green Lantern did his thing. Roll my, uh, roll my chat yeah, window. Yeah. Noah, roll my chat window back up, so I can see my chat. Thanks. 
Yeah, all right. So I'm on YouTube Live right now. I got uh, Zia with me from the Night Riker. If anybody wants to ask some questions, throw things out there. Anybody on Instagram want to come into uh, the YouTube chat live? We're just talking about riding out and yeah. cool stuff like that. So, you know, hit me up. I saw a few guys in there. Let me see if I could scroll back and see who was there. Oh, anytime, buddy. It looks good, man. Looking forward to seeing more of uh, your bike on YouTube. Yeah, I told the Green Lantern, I said, yo, come on the show, man. I want you on the podcast, oh, yeah. man. You got the first yeah. You got the first uh, comic book theme, Riker, man. We got to talk about that, man. That's a good show. I said, oh, yeah. let's let's do that, man. Yeah. That's interesting. Before everybody starts running out and making that, all types that, of Marvel. That label ca- is yours, buddy. That <laughs> label is yours. You got it. Yeah, that's it. You own that, bro. You own that. Oh, Quasi right. Motard's yeah. still in the house. Say what's up. Oh, to- yeah. Quasi is like the king of long ride on Rikers, man. I learned a lot watching his videos. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Quasi <laughs> got it. Quasi got it going on. His arsenal is crazy, man. I'm like, Quasi is. Yeah. yeah you can't mess with it. He got he got all the works, all the works, all the comparisons. You name it. Quasi's got oh, yeah. it going on. Yeah. I like Quasi. Uh, Quasi is definitely. He said he said he was going to. Uh, it, it's on his list to swing by or through Atlanta. I said he's got to do it. He and I got to hook up for sure and, and ride together. You know what I mean? Definitely, man. Definitely, you got to do that, man. I, you got to do that. Yeah. I, I'm gonna have to invest in the trailer myself because I got to start getting out to these states and doing some live shows. But hopefully, my goal right now that is to be cool. do that live show with BRP if I can get that. Hopefully, they'll start opening everything up, and I can go to Canada. He said the plant's in the middle of nowhere, so I was like, well, I guess I'll find it. But when it does open up, I want to do a nice show there with them and show everybody how to can ham some meat. Hey, listen, once you do that show there when they open up, buddy, you won't be begging for (laughs) subscribers. People will be begging you to put them on your show, my friend. (laughs) I'm hoping. I want to get it so it's so big that when I do my right. first Rolling On 3 podcast ride out, I'm going to have to get a permit, man. You know what I'm saying? I want I want the city to contact me and say, hey, listen, man, you know, after two or three hundred, we're going to have to get, get a permit, you know, so... Because I was watching how these guys get down, man, and they just take over. They just take over. Yeah, man. That would be cool, you know. And make your way uh, from the podcast. Make your way on like some, you know, thirty minute on some station talking about motorcycles in general, safety, this and that, and three wheels and whatnot. Yeah, I got. I, I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, I got a guy <laughs> send who send me a signed paper, quick. Send me a signed T-shirt, quick. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll never forget everybody who was with me in the beginning. That's that was the whole thing. Like I was like, you know, all these people I talked to, I was like, I can give a lot of feedback to Can Am, so I. I'm glad Can-Am reached out to me, and I'm glad I could help because I already got the first feedback. They was like, Can-Am products are too expensive to buy. So I was like, well, that's my first feedback to take back to Can-Am. Yeah, yeah I got to cut that price down a little bit. You know, your aftermarket prices are crazy, but we'll see. We'll see how they take it. I got uh, Quasi still here. Quasi say he's going to be on the show, but Quasi's too busy. So he got work. He's got his YouTube. He's got a whole bunch of stuff going on. But I, I, I know exactly... I work, I do this, I film shows, I, I'm the same yeah. way, bro. I'm the same way. Yeah, I, I like Quasi, he's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, everybody's good, man. And I'm, we're just fortunate to be able to talk, chat, and meet with people who are, who are good people, you know. No. I would never have dreamt of meeting if I didn't have a YouTube channel. You know? No, it's crazy. It's the same thing. And the yeah. people I meet through YouTube, and it's, it's wild because the guy that I did all that work for for his bike who started calling me the Riker doctor and you know i met him and then you know unfortunately he passed away but you know it was still like everybody i've been meeting through the youtube community and the Riker community and the can-am community has been a hundred percent great there's a green lantern saying something over here on his oh when i'm gonna set a big beat for everybody to meet and greet each other that would be Man, that would be great. I would, it has to be summer, though, obviously. Yeah, yeah, it has to be summer. But, you know, they're having um a big thing out in New York on Juneteenth. I'm going to post it up because 
It's going to be a really, really big event. And I don't know if you, anybody have seen uh, my other videos about the ride outs in New York. They are insane. So they're doing something Juneteenth, June 19th in New York. And it's going to be like a Unity Can-Am picnic. But we get a lot of bikes. We get a lot of slingshots and van. We get everything. It, does, it Once they, yeah. It's a ride. It's a ride. So that's big coming. So I'll be posting some things. I'll be posting some stuff on Instagram about it so yeah. you guys can sit and, um, you know, if y'all want to take a ride up to New man. York. Those oh, Vander Halls are crazy. It's a beautiful machine, man. There's a beautiful Reminds machine. Me of the Morgan three-wheelers, you know, the Morgan yeah. three-wheeler. Oh. Yeah. Man, that's like my dream three-wheeler is the Morgan three-wheeler. It's, it's a, so expensive. I know, <laughs> I know. It's such a beautiful machine. And even the wraps those guys are putting on it. I saw the one where the guy wrapped oh. it like it was rusted. That was oh. an amazing rap. You talking about the Morgan? He, no, he wrapped the Vander. He wrapped the Vanderhall, but the wrap oh. looked like a rusted metal wrap, so it looked nice. like it was an old bomber. And like a rat rod. Yes. Like a rat rod. Yes. yes. Oh man. That's oh, I got awesome. I got King Joffy Joe from the four one three on the check in. King, what's up? <laughs> That's my boy, King Joffy Joe, man. He's dropping that uh, DYIs on Wednesdays on Eureka. He's got some cool videos out there. I like his channel. I like his channel a lot. I'm subscribed to him. All That's right. Sure. King, I got the Knight Riker on from uh, Zia from the from the Knight Riker. He's on Instagram live with me. We chopping it up. Thanks for joining in, King. Appreciate it. And for all that uh, was coming in late, uh, Martin, the vlogger, put something out, who, a contest. He's going to go through the the live chat, and whoever wins that shows the most love on the channel, whether it be monetary or just verbal love, he, whoever wins is going to get a T-shirt. Ride it like he stole it from Slovakia, all the way from Slovakia. So if you want a T-shirt and says this T-shirt came all the way across from Slovakia, you know, show some love to the channel. But uh, I got Donald... McCoy checking in from North Carolina. Donald, what's up? What's going on? Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. Uh, King says, what's up? King says, what's up, uh, Zia? Hey, King. Love the videos, man. Yeah, me too, King. I saw, your, I saw the podcast and the cute baby. <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it, the baby yeah. was dying to get into the video, King. Yeah, so. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, King, but the baby was the star of the show. Man. Yeah, I know, man. You could have just handed the mic over to the baby king. She was, you know, he, he had, she had, she's a natural right now. So she's a natural. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You need to For put sure. her. You need to put the baby in the videos, bro. That, that I think that'll help. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just messing with man. King, he's doing good, and I think his his All boy right. is his boy's got a channel coming up now. Or they, they even got... I don't know. Did your boy release his channel yet? D. Rowland. I think he's... uh His boy is supposed to do a channel. But he's on the check-in now. He's laughing it up. He's he's enjoying it. He's enjoying it. Thanks for checking in, King. I got like 18 people in chat right now in the live chat. So I appreciate the love and the support. I think I've been on here for like two hours already, bro. Oh, man. Yeah, these live chat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna before sunset. Sunset's in thirty minutes. I'm gonna head out in five minutes because I'm gonna. I, my Riker's been parked for a week, and I haven't done any stories thing because I don't think it'll get that cool. Like, right. But I think I need to ride it at least five miles, seven miles in a week just to keep the fluids going. I hear you. The battery charged up. Yeah. I'm. A, but, I'm. Uh, yeah. But I saw your video on that stories thing. That if if I ever do the stories thing, that was the easiest, simplest. Oh, it's. Like, something I can do myself. Like, all right, just throw this on there, check this, do that, done. That's it. That's how you store it, man. Yeah. Let me tell you, that'll yeah. save you a lifetime of problems when you're ready to start it up. So storing a bike is the best. That's so, the... so there's a question I have for you that mm -hmm. I don't hear a lot, or maybe I missed it, is like when you put that uh, the, stabili the stability thing, the gas, stable, right. whatever it's called, uh, do you have to keep that in there for a certain amount of time before you start up your Riker again or it doesn't matter it doesn't you matter start you start it up after a, a week or two or whatever you could um when you put that fluid in run the bike for five minutes and that's it when you start burning and after the season yeah. starts it'll burn itself out 
Oh, so it, there's no restriction like, hey, once you put this fuel in, you can't ride for a month or anything? Nah, like okay. it'll just burn itself out. So you only run the Ryko for like five minutes to get it through all the system and then shut your Ryko off. Because right. if you shut it on again uh -huh. and you ride it, you'll burn all that stuff out and then you'll have to redo it. Right, but yeah, right. it feels gotcha, like Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, King Jaffe says, "My that's my my brother, same mother. We cooking up something for him. Thanks for asking. Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, I saw D. He's got something going on. So yeah, good looking out, oh, man. Y'all got a nice little thing going. Two brothers with a Rikers. That sounds dope. Is that the same one who, uh, whose engine blew up? Yeah, I think that's him. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, D. Yeah, yeah. Who, who blew up yeah, his right. motor twice or something like yeah. that. I think. I heard it. Yeah, twice. That's like what." Uh, oh, King Javi said, heads up for can and recommends it that you don't put fuel stabilizer if you're leaving your bike down for four months or, or more. Oh, okay. Oh, Just heads yeah, up, that's, recommend. That's quite a bit, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, my bike is staying down, bro. I, once I put it away when it gets cold, it's staying down for the whole season. So it's definitely like three months that that, that bike is yeah. sitting. So I've yeah. always done it when I've rode bikes. I've always dumped in a little fuel stabilizer. I even do it to my yeah. lawnmower. So, I mean, oh. it is, it, it, to me, it works wonders because I remember the years of letting my bike sit and trying to start it when the season started and have to go through the whole carburetor and clean it. So I've been a stabilizer guy for years, and it's never left let me down. I mean, I started right up, boom, and I'm good. But thanks for the tip, King Jaffe. I got you, though. I got you. You might have to run it after, like, you know, two, two and a half months or three months and then put it back in again with the stabilizer. Yeah, but right now I haven't even, once I put it down, I think I put it down in... Uh, like three weeks ago, didn't you? No, no, I I dropped the video late, but it's been down for over a month or two now. Cause I oh, that video okay, came gotcha, out gotcha. that video came out late, so that must be torture up in New York. How, how, what, you're six months out. Is that what it is for you? Six months in, six I, months out. I won't see. I won't be probably riding till end March, the end of March. Mm. So we got too much rain, too much snow. We got this. Uh, Arctic vortex coming down, so I'm not. I'm not. I put it away, so that was it. But yeah, man, that's it. Cool. That's it till the till the riding season starts. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know it's torture, man. If I was up north, I, I wouldn't be able to bear it. Not riding. <laughs> sucks, man. I want to get right, out anyway. there. Yeah, you out of here? I'm, yeah, I'm gonna start the Riker up. And take it for a spin. I've got it sitting in my parents' place. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't even take it home yet. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, I mean, I, as soon as I did that Florida trip, I, I've been, uh, you know, I've been staying over at my folks' place. Just my wife and daughter were overseas. So I just brought it here and kept it here. And All right. About to go before it goes dark. At least ride it five miles just to get keep things rolling. You know? I hear you. I hear you. Definitely a good thing yeah. to do. Yeah, man. Beautiful day here, so I'm going to take advantage of it. But Thank thanks you. for having me on again, Keith. I appreciate it, man. We hey. should do this more often. I like it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Fun. I'll try to get yeah. more guys on the on the live. Yeah, we need to get Barry and all these yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. We got to listen. I'm a, we need to get you on. Yeah, we got to try. I'm going I'm to see how I can learn to set it up. If I can get a whole bunch of guys on the live, maybe through an, another web source, and we'll yeah. try to do and it. your son can find a way. I know it. <laughs> I have faith in him. Your son can find a way. I, I keep doing this though. I might have to start paying him. Yo, Zia, man, it was it was great, you, man. man. I, I I gotta have you back. We'll do it again. All right, brother. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Thank I, you, man. Have a good one. Later. All right. Yeah, that was uh that was Zia from his channel, The Night Riker. So uh, yeah, definitely um check his channel out. Cool brother. Met him through the podcast. Nice guy out in Atlanta. So if any of you guys out there riding. He is the guy to he is the guy to hit up. And everybody that's on IG, I'm live on YouTube right now. So there's about 20, 22 people here on the YouTube in the YouTube chat. And we are chopping it up Can Am stuff, Rikers and Spiders. So if you want to come in, everybody that's watching on IG Live, just shoot over to my YouTube. So uh uh flea be me. Uh, he just joined. What's up, bro? We live on uh, YouTube. Uh, Rika23, North Carolina, joined. What's up? You know, we live on YouTube. Uh, Green Lantern, 
when y'all gonna set a big meet for everyone to meet and greet we gotta set that up soon man you know we we're working on things but everybody who just tuned in uh, I just did an announcement between uh, Rolling on Three podcast and Can Am. Uh, Rolling on Three and and BRP and Can Am are now. Uh, I like to thank them for welcoming me into their ambassador program. So what that means is that I will be reviewing products for Can Am and going to help them uh, with their brand and reviewing products and upcoming products that are coming out and maybe giving you guys update on all things can am so i would like to thank uh uh brp for uh and can am for believing in the podcast and reaching out to me thank you uh jonathan from can am and brian from brp appreciate it they're going to be sending me products and stuff for me to review they actually sent me my first product i opened it up in front of all you guys i'll bring it up again for those that didn't see they sent me an all-weather backpack so it's an all weather backpack. I can tell you right now, it is uh it is amazing quality. It's nice and heavy. It's waterproof. It's a flap over. The inside is reflective. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of pockets in there. I don't know. I try to show it the most. It has the cool air system in the back, so you don't sweat while it's on your back. It has all the adjustments. It's reflective. It can hold a laptop it's heavy quality it can hold a laptop 300 it tells you right here uh it's made by uh ogio ogio completely waterproof 360 degree reflective screen print quick access front zipper stash pocket removable removable high visibility liner uh, top sleeve fits most 15 inch laps, laptops and a tablet sleeve. Uh, if you're looking for the size, it's 25 and a half inches high rolled, uh, 10 and a half inches wide, and six and three quarter, six and three quarter inches deep. And it weighs about two and a half pounds. It's made of nylon. Uh, I'm. I, there's no way I could test it right now because, you know, I'm not riding. But I will take it to my backyard and leave it out there for about an hour because it is rainy and cold. And I will come back and let y'all guys know at a later time in another video how the bag uh, withstood uh, just the elements right now. But as for riding, I'm definitely going to use it. Uh, thanks, Can Am, for sending me the product. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, and pretty much that's it if all of you uh, okay King Joffy Joe oh Jose shout it out King Joffy Joe keep up those videos nothing but love for your rods uh, quasi said he's in the busy season with work until mid February King Joffy Joe said facts of Angelita say yes indeed yes so yeah, I, I just did a live show for you guys. Um, if you're interested in a uh, uh, flea beam, flea, flea be, flea beamy, flea beamy. That's a crazy name, but I like the profile picture. Is that Patrick from SpongeBob? That's hilarious. Um, yeah, appreciate it. That thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm happy about the sponsorship too. Uh, you know. I, I can't wait to bring you guys some Can-Am stuff. Right now, I, you know, everything I bring is not going to be um, endorsed by Can-Am. It's just a product review. So I'm going to bring you honest reviews of the stuff they have. And all the information that I gain from you guys uh, through these chats and through the podcast, I'm going to share back to Can-Am and hopefully I can uh, help improve on the product and, you know, more things like that. Flea be me. Flea be me. Oh, okay. I got it now. I pronounced it right. So, yeah. Um, uh, Donald. Hey, thank you. Thank you for the congratulations. Thank you. Uh, and whoever just uh, just tuned in on the chat, uh, Martin of Larga is doing a contest with the people in the chat room. So, uh, whoever sends the most love, I believe he said either monetary or verbally, 
uh, they will win a Ride It Like You Stole a T-shirt from Martin Avlaga all the way from Slovakia. Martin Avlaga, he's got a pretty big YouTube channel over there uh, on the Spider F3 Can-Am. So, uh, you know, the more love you guys show, the better. I appreciate it, you know. Everything you do will help me just bring this channel closer and closer to more Can-Am people. And the goal is to get it really big so I can host some really big Can-Am events and get some sponsorships out there. and You know, just help you guys improve your Can-Am. Uh, Miriam, good night. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Have a good night. Be safe, Miriam, out there. Uh, I'll be following uh, those, those uh, Instagram videos. Uh, flea be me. I'm looking to do my exhaust on my right any session. Well, the RLS seems to be the popular exhaust for the Riker right now, so that's the one I would probably recommend because I see so many people on YouTube putting it on the RLS. I got an exhaust early, it was the Spider One Attitude. So, I mean, I like it, but it is. Oh, it is very, very drumming noise in your ear. So I like the way the RLS stands. So if you're looking to do a muffler, I would stick with that. So many guys have used it and they really like that product. So I'll just go by what everybody says. So anything you get is going to be better than the Riker muffler because that thing weighs a ton and it doesn't have a nice sound. So anything you get but remember you're going to be very close to that muffler so the louder it is the more you're going to hear it so just be careful but like i said the rls seems to be the popular one to go through so check that one out uh to the king yeah what up king no thanks bro appreciate it anytime king man shows me a lot of love oh yeah you saw that with my hat yeah, because I got the green bottom. <laughs> so, so yeah, I was, I've been trying to keep my hat down, King, but, uh, you know, it keeps popping up so you can see because I got the green bottom. Next time I got to tell him to hook me up with some, print, some pink brims. This way I won't have that problem. But, uh, yeah, the hats are out there. So if you want the hats, uh, you want the hats, hit me up in the email. We'll work it out, the deal on the hats. Uh Team Riker Florida join. Uh, Team Riker Florida. Uh, I'm in the YouTube chat right now. So if you want to ask some questions, you can shoot over to my YouTube channel. Um, I want to hear all about that ride, that Miami ride out. That that thing looked like a movie, man. So any of you guys want to talk about it, I got like 20 people in the chat room. So hit me up, man. People want to hear about that. Hey, King, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, man. It was some hard work. I was shocked that uh, Can-Am reached out to me to be a brand ambassador. But, you know, I thought I was one of the little guys. But I guess, you know, they saw something in me. But I appreciate all the love and support everybody showed me. Uh, Flea be me. Uh, the two brothers. Yeah, it's expensive. But the two brothers exhaust is expensive. But it has a very nice sound. Very nice sound. Uh, big pop, big poppy, big papa Riker. My bad. Big papa Riker joined. Big papa, we on the YouTube uh, chat right now. We live in YouTube. We got about twenty something people in there. So come over to the YouTube chat so we could talk all this Riker and can it. Uh, Derek, uh, been listening most of the show. Working on my website. Love the show. Informants love to hear about Can Am and congratulations. Yo, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Can-Am. I mean, thank you very much, Derek. Yeah, that Can-Am thing came as a shock to me. I'll tell you that right now, man. man. It blew my mind. But I'm glad to be working with them. They're good, some good people over in Can-Am. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to bring y'all some, some nice product and take your feedback and try to make some product, you know, designed for you guys, you know, for the Riker community. So, you know, I'm I'm working on this. So thanks for the love. Thanks for everything. You know, oh King, I don't have T-shirts. I didn't I didn't do the T-shirt thing yet. I only got the hats and the beanies right now. Mr. Stitch up, hooked me up with some merch. You know, you know how he do, and uh, 
you know, I got a, a local guy sent me some stuff. He wanted me to look at his designs and uh, see if he wants me to work with him too. So I might do some t-shirts through him. I don't know. Uh, check out, um, uh, his name is Jack Rose on Instagram. That's two K's, J-A-K-K Rose. He's the one who did the, the next set of merch for me. So, um, yeah, I'm working on some things. Me and Mr. Stitch up, of course, got some things going on. So, yeah. But uh, I see you got the you got the tees, you got the hoodies, you got the flags. I mean, you 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 got all that King Joffy Joe going on, man. Appreciate it, man. You got doing big things over there, big things. So I started the show with telling everybody about me and Can Am working together and me being a brand ambassador. So you know that's the big thing. I also wanted to know if anybody went to uh, that Miami ride out for. MLK weekend. Uh, I spoke to the Philly Riker boys earlier today. They were in. Pardon me. They were in Miami when I did. Uh, I just filmed a podcast with them. So we were talking. They were showing me some stuff, man. It is. It was going down in Miami to for the Rikers Can Ams. It is a movie. Uh Dad Boy eighteen oh two joined. Everybody that's on Instagram right now, I'm live in YouTube in the YouTube chat. So you can swing all over to my YouTube channel in my bio. We got about eighteen people in the chat room right now. So we're just going back and forth with this Riker talk. Can Am Spider, whatever you want. So we were just discussing. Um, we were just discussing what's going on with this uh, Can Am community. Yeah, D, all in Miami. <laughs> Yo, you ain't lying, man. I've been watching those Miami videos. Just mad that I'm not there, man. I tell you, man. If I could have got away, I would have went. But there was no way in the world I could have got out of work. And doing something like that. It's just insane. I'm missing it, man. I would love to go down there and host something. A big ride out. But they got something big coming in New York here. So uh, it's Juneteenth. I'll be posting some some videos and some promotions about it. It's going to be a big ride out. Uh, Unity Day in uh, New York City. It's Juneteenth. So they already started advertising. So it's going to be big. It's going to be big. Uh, Hen Hennessy Black, what up, what up, bro, what up, what's going on, uh, Hennessy, we in the YouTube chat right now, so if you want to come over and chop it up with all these uh, Riker and Spider owners, we live on YouTube right now, uh, what we got, oh yeah, so like I said, I did an interview with BRP, uh, I put it, uh, it's in right here, below, right there in the corner um i did a podcast with the lead of global uh relations for brp so the guy was been with can am before the can am even launched the spider so we had some uh a nice discussion we talked about what was going on with can am the future of can am what they looking forward uh, i threw in some questions you guys shot at me about what to ask can am a few guys sent me questions so uh you know i weeded out what i could and threw them in there we talked about a lot of guys asked me about the future can am if it was going to go electric but like i said you got to watch when i post the video you got to watch that to see what what he said about they're going to be an electric rico or spider coming anytime soon so like I said, just tune in, man. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like button, you know. Keep this thing going so I can get this uh, this thing going good for, um, you know, for the Can-Am community. Oh, Hennessy said, Hennessy Black 2320. My whole crew in Miami right now three times dope. Yeah. Three times dope. Yeah, they're hosting that event, right? Three Times Dope is hosting that event down there with the Riker Riders. Yeah, I was watching their videos. It's insane, man. It's insane. I'm wishing I was there too, man. I'm wishing. D. Rowland said, 
we here with 40 degrees. I know, right? They they down there and ride with palm trees. And we up here in 40 degree weather. I think it's like 36 in New York, man. It's, it's starting to freeze. Huh? It's starting to freeze, man. So, yeah, they, they having a good time. Um, I was on the line with the Philly Riker boys. So, so the Philly Riker boys is like, they were down there. They were doing it big too, man. They was nonstop riding. They said they was riding for like 10, 11 hours. So they were doing their thing. Oh, right here, same in Baltimore. Oh, Hennessy Black says the weather's the same in Baltimore. Yeah, it's it's cold. It's cold, man. I wanted to ride, but I ain't gonna ride. You know, I'm thinking about though, I should do you know, guys do these ride outs and they riding all over. I'm thinking about maybe if I should just do like a uh, like a call in where you could just call in and go live right right through YouTube, right on my show. Like if you ride and it's a big event, you could just hit me up just like you do on Instagram, but just come right through YouTube. I could do this whole thing live, like live shows, like a TV event type thing. I got to work on that. I'm going to talk to my producer. The guy who runs my show and think if I could set up things like that, make it almost like a live Can Am TV show. So all you guys doing big things could just come call right in and we could just go live with your whole thing, your videos, whatever you got going. I got to work on that, man. I hate to throw ideas out there. You know, people like to, you know, take your stuff away. But I think... um I think that'll work. I think people will be interested in that. I don't know what y'all think. Let me know. Let me know. And, you know, thank everybody for the love and support y'all throw into the channels. But I got to start getting out there and riding, man. This this weather is horrible, man. I hate going down. D said that would be dope. Appreciate it, D. I mean, I just popped into my mind. I don't even know if that's physically possible. But <laughs> it's one of those things where I say, you know what? Let's see what happens. If I put it together, you know, it might take a little bit more equipment. But if I could put something together where I could just set it up and just broadcast it out there. If y'all having a big event, just go right into a nice broadcast. Maybe I could do that. I got to see. I got to see what, it, what that entails. Uh, Riker414 join. Rika, uh, we live in the YouTube right now. If you want to come into the live chat, we got a live chat going on. If you want to talk to the rest of these Can Am Rika and Spider owners, there's about 20 people in the chat, so shoot on over. Hennessy said that would be fire. Yeah, it sure would be fire, man. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really look into that. See what type of equipment it would have to do live broadcasts and find out how that works with the FCC and all of that other nonsense because you know you can't just start broadcasting things without you know licenses and you know and you have people coming to look for you cuz you know they might think you're bootlegging movies or something who knows but some crazy stuff like that but yeah it's just an idea you know how it is yeah ideas flowing through your head you just got to figure it out but uh yeah i got to get um Hennessy i got to get a uh, Three times dope on the show, man. Yeah, you guys are, uh, you guys are doing it big. I'm, y'all guys came out to New York. Um, I think last summer. Uh, I think last summer y'all guys came to New York, and I could not catch up with you. Um, it was hard. It was hard to find. It was hard to find. You guys were all over there. Every time I tried to meet up with you and your guys, y'all in a different borough. It's like almost impossible. Uh, Hennessy, uh, click in my bio. See if you can go into my YouTube through my bio, Hennessy. If not, it's uh, rolling on three wheels. All spelled out. It's rolling on three wheels. So you should be able to come in on that. Uh this summer yeah y'all was yeah y'all three times dope came out yeah it was the summer right it was before it was before covid 
I don't, I don't even remember. Anyway, I was trying to get up with you guys in the worst way, but y'all kept shooting from borough to borough. I couldn't even find. It's like one of those things. If I wasn't with you, y'all were gone. Y'all were moving. Y'all took the whole city over. Uh, Rikey UK is up. Rikey UK from the UK. Yo, uh, Rikey UK. Yo, hit me up, man. I need to do a show on the UK. I don't think I have anything from the UK out there yet. So hit me up. Riker UK, let's let's do it. Let's do a show. Uh, Fun and Riker, I've been on for two hours. Yeah, I know. You know, y'all, if y'all watch my my live streams, my live streams usually run for about two to three hours. You, you know, I start yawning and yawning and yawning, and then what happens is you guys start buying me cups of coffee into my cash app, start sending me a dollar, two dollars, so I get a coffee to keep up. So, unfortunately, I can't buy the coffee while I'm live. But, when the weather gets nice, I will be able to walk around and get a coffee while I'm live so I could do these live shows. But, thank you, Fun and Riker. Yeah, it's two hours. So, I usually wrap it up around three hours. I mean, unless you guys want to stay and listen to me talk. But, I don't have no problem. But, yeah, man. I'm going to stay... Rapping with you guys for a while. Oh, through, through full throttle back in the house. You missed the whole conversation with uh King and me about you know your merch. So, uh, welcome back, full throttle. Uh, Flea be me from Instagram. That Miami ride was definitely a movie. Yo, that was insane. Yo, those videos from Miami are crazy crazy three times dope does it big though they don't play i i like i like those guys gentlemen they they well i don't even know if i can keep up with those dudes though they they they, they keep it push it i need you just need to get your carrick you know what it is i should make me like a hot tea or something because i don't really make it home sit while you're streaming you know what i don't really mess with coffee that much because i don't really like it and and people be like oh you know, I'm not a coffee guy. I do like the teas, though. You know, I'm not a coffee guy. But, yeah, I got to. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my tea and put it right here on my streaming. And then, yeah. But, you know, I start drinking tea. And then it'll be. Next, I'll be lighting a candle. And then before you know it, it'll be music in the background. I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to push that type of show. <laughs> Thanks, my man, Full Throttle, though. I mean, he 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 always hits me up, man. That if actually you gotta hit uh all you guys that are looking to get some uh, hats, shirts, patches, you gotta hit up full throttle. Oh, Fun and Riker just want to know what's the big news. Oh man, that's right, you got in late. Uh, just to let you know, Fun and Riker, I was reached out by K and M. They uh like the podcast and they signed me on as a brand ambassador. So I will be bringing you content from Can-Am, uh, products, reviews, and endorsements. And they will be asking me to review future products that are coming up and in the works to help them out to produce uh, stuff for you guys. For the Can-Am Riker and uh, the Can-Am Riker and Spider community. So they just put me down as their 2019 brand ambassador. So that's the big news. Well, Fun and Riker, you just text me again. What's your big news? And I just said it. So if you want me to repeat it again, let me know. I'll wait. <laughs> but I just said it while you just typed it. So I think you typed it and retracted it. But if you didn't get it, uh, I am now. Can Am has asked me to be a brand ambassador for their brand, and I will be bringing you. Uh, product reviews I'll be talking about future products coming out and hopefully I will be premiering products that are coming out and taking the feedback from you guys and bringing them back to Can-Am for them to get you to listen to the viewers and under the riders and make products that are uh, more designed to what you guys want and not to what they want. So they actually sent me, I did an unboxing earlier 
two hours ago. They sent me my first product to rate and review. So uh, I'll bring it up again. So this is what they sent me. Uh, it came from can -Am. It's an all-weather riding backpack, flapped over. It's very good quality. Uh, it's a reflective inside. You can put all your stuff in there, fit a 15-inch laptop. It has padded. It has the vents for your back so you won't get sweaty on your back. A handle, adjustable straps. It's all weather waterproof. It's a nice size, good quality. Comes with the Can-Am, reflective, zip pocket. So that was the first product that they sent me to do a review on. Um, thank you, Can-Am. And, you know, I'll be bringing stuff for you guys you know to uh give me your reviews and your feedbacks on so uh thank you uh fun and Riker said congratulations thank you thank you fun and Riker. appreciate it appreciate the love appreciate the support you give me um by the way uh anybody who just turned in anyway um uh martin the vlogger is doing a contest for this live chat so if anybody, uh, whoever shows me the most love, whether it's monetary or verbally, will be getting a t-shirt from Martin Avlaga all the way from Slovakia, the Ride It Like You Stole It t-shirt. It's pretty nice. It's from martinavlaga.com. He does all these videos on the F3 Riker. I'm F3 Spider. It's, a, it's pretty, pretty in-depth reviews. And uh, any of you have an F3 and you want, he does questions and answering. He's got a pretty, pretty big channel. So uh, definitely check out Martin the Vlogger. Definitely check out my boy uh, King Joffy Joe 413. A shout out to him. He's got a great channel. Does those DYIs. Those are pretty dope. Uh, Fun and Riker. Check out that channel. Um, who else I got? Yeah, who else that I'm missing? Yeah, Fun and Riker. I can't even remember. Uh, D, thanks for the thanks for the support. D rolling three. Uh, who else I got out there? Life and Riker. Life and Riker, thank you for the support. Martin, thank you for the support. A lot of guys here. Bill, thank you for the support. B L R tuning, he threw in some support. Uh, uh, who else I got here? I can't even remember. So many of you guys show me so much love. I can't remember who's in the chat right now, but appreciate it, appreciate it. I'm probably going to dead this on the third hour, this live stream, because I think, I don't know if I can stay up more than three hours and i'm i'm and my producer's telling me my super producer noah bon bon noah b-o-n b-o-n is telling me i'm in two hours and 41 minutes into my live chat so i'm definitely gonna end my live chat in 20 minutes i got 17 guys left in there or girl or girls 17 guys or girls left in there so I'm going to stay on till, yeah, I'll stay on till 6 o'clock, and then it's a wrap. I got to eat dinner and get a, a Care Bear 6635 join. Care Bear, I am live on YouTube right now if you want to jump into uh, the YouTube channel and check out. We got 17 Riker and Spider Riders in there, and we're talking Riker stuff, and everybody tuned in for my big announcement. Like I said, appreciate that. Appreciated all the love that came in. Uh, thank you, Fun and Riker, for the congrats. Uh, you know, so I just want to be able to say, you know, I appreciate the support of the podcast. And I appreciate now to be working with Can Am and BRP and bringing you uh, news and exclusive products. And yes, Every, there was a lot of people who sent me questions to ask the can am so I had to put it consolidated because then I would have had a whole show just of questions. So I narrowed it down to three. 
Um, and one of the questions were about an electric spider or Rika. So you got to tune into the show, like, subscribe, because I didn't re- release the channel yet. But I mean, I didn't release the podcast yet, but I will be releasing it. I'll do a little trailer, a little teaser trailer, and let y'all know it's right here. So that's what it's going to look like. That's BRP. That's my man, Brian, from lead of global consumer public relations. Man, got a lot of knowledge. Been with the Can-Am team since the beginning. So tune in. Uh, Let me thank uh, Jonathan from Can-Am on Road. Road. Can-Am on Road to help me bring this together. So I appreciate that. Uh, Fun and Riker, thank you for your support. I appreciate it, man. You know, I'm here for the community, man. You know, I want us all to, you know, come together. I'm here for the community. That's my thing. Oh, I'm sorry. So, listen. My cash app is up there in case anybody wants to donate to the cause. The only reason I put the cash app up there is to help make my podcast show uh, better. That's for better equipment, better cameras, better microphones, better setup. So, you know, I just want to keep this uh, Can-Am thing going for the whole Can-Am community. So I throw my cash up there just for, you know, any little donation you can to help keep it, uh, to keep this channel going. I don't ask for much. I save it up and I put it together just to purchasing my last live show i was i did pretty good and i was able to purchase myself a new microphone for the podcast so i appreciate all the love you guys sent you know i have merchandise in case y'all want to do that i have a lot of things so uh you know it's just to keep the channel alive and keep pushing more and more content out for uh you guys you know the youtube community and the can am writers uh ron said first time here been listening I like what I'm hearing, congrats. Ron, I appreciate it. Thank you for the love. Appreciate it. You know, I did it for the whole Can-Am community. You know, I just put it out there. And, you know, with the help of you guys, it was able to go across uh, Can-Am's desk. And then Can-Am looked at it and they liked what I'm doing. So now they're supporting me 100%. So, you know, it's... It was with the help of, you know, everybody else out there. So because y'all helped me, I'm helping back. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to give back to the community. And I'm going to bring you all this product to review. And, um, you know, hopefully more and more things are coming. And, you know, between me and can Am, But like I said, you know, I got the, I got the interview coming up. So you got to, uh, it's right here. I'll be posting it soon uh, with the date that I'm going to release it. A uh, lot of information. If y'all want to know more about the Can-Am company, what they're doing, what's the future, what's the past. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Tell people that you know who ride Can-Ams to like, subscribe to the channel. You know, my whole goal is to, you know, push it out to you guys. So. I see that my view account is starting to drop a little lower and lower. So that's good because I'm about 10 minutes away from shutting down my live stream. But like I said, um, uh, oh yeah, full throttle. Yeah, I know you're busy. Full throttle's a busy dude. He's, you, you got a lot going on, man. You got a lot going on. You're busy. You're busy like crazy. Oh, man. Oh, sorry. Oh, man. I'm sorry. No, I appreciate the, I appreciate the love. Uh, full throttle, Mr. Stitch It Up. Show me a lot of love in the beginning of my channel. So, you know, that's one of the dudes from the beginning. So, I, that's my man over there. So, respect that. Uh, so, I haven't really got too much about this Miami thing from guys. So... Maybe the next live, I'll see if I can get some guys that went to that big ride out in Miami to come on a live stream. But, you know, I got some other things in the work I was thinking about. 
Oh my goodness, I can't stop yawning. It's crazy. So, I got some other things in the works for the channel. I want to see if I could do other things. Maybe produce some live videos out there when the summer. Do some live events or maybe broadcast some live events. So I said, we got to get you some coffee. Yo, the coffee donation button is in the top of the corner. And that's the coffee donation right there, man. Send me that dollar. Or I can get the coffee from the corner store. It's a dollar. Uh, but, you know, if you want to send me Starbucks coffee money, that's five bucks. But I'll drink the dollar coffee. I, matter of fact, 50 cent, I'll go get a tea. All I need is the money for the tea bag, so. Pause, but you know, that's just how that's just really for the channel. That's just really, you know, to keep these keep bringing you this uh Riker talk, this Riker conversation, this Can Am conversation, and just to keep y'all updated on the new products. And uh, <laughs> you get a uh, full thought say, I gotta get a carrot. Nah, man, I'm not gonna buy a carrot, I don't drink it like that. I'm telling you right now, I'm just going to get the tea. Next time you see the live stream, it's just going to be a hot tea. But that's it. It's going to be a hot tea. All right, so listen, man. I'm down to like 12 people in the chat. I'm not even going to try to stretch this another 10 minutes. Uh, let me just shout out everybody who was... Uh, Throw, full throttle say you make some coffee right now that's because you up all night you busy i'm done i'm gonna eat my dinner and that's it it's a wrap for me i'm gonna watch some tv um yo thanks everybody for tuning in uh like i said before this was my big announcement between me and uh can am and brp um appreciate the love y'all show me the support and everybody in the channel appreciate everybody being on ig uh, I'm going to bring you more contact. I hope you like the review on the bag. Uh, if um, I hope you like the review on the bag. If anybody's interested in the bag, uh, I'll try to get some more information about it. So I could put it out there for you guys and let k and -M know that you like it, you want to purchase it. If you're interested at all, if you don't like it, if it's ugly, if there's design changes you want to make, let me know. Um, this is rolling on three. Uh, my Instagram is Shadow Black Riker. Uh, my YouTube is Rolling On Three, all spelled out. My email is Rolling On Three Wheels. Uh, that's the number three. So Rolling On Number Three Wheels at gmail.com. My YouTube channel is Rolling On Three Wheels. My Instagram is Shadow Black Riker. My Twitter is Rolling On Three. Please hit me up. Let me know what you want to do. Appreciate it, can and family, and more videos to come. Watch for that podcast. That's going to be dope information. I'm out. See you on the next live.